The gist oh, her of name it. is Ivana Orgy. What the fuck am I saying? Her name is easy to remember. I, Ivan Orgy. I know her last name is Orgy because I know that I thought that was dope. Uh, the things that he's saying are not affiliated <laughs> with the Black Effects Podcast Network, Black Freckles, Listen. Hype, or anything between. Uh, he See, wants an orgy, guys. <laughs> he, not I, Ivana. Ivana Orgy. He wants one. Ivana Orgy. <laughs> I don't. I want a wife and kids. God damn it. I'm still, uh, I'm still on pace to get married in 2021. <laughs> Man, look, he's an ass man. I can bend his wife, got her an ass man. I don't got two ass man. Why? Cause I've seen his last man. In a world where there's too much damn sensitivity. Too much. Something needs to change. Two guys take it upon themselves to change the landscape. To change the mentality. In the name of one man. The Mamba man. And that's the man right there. Wait a uh, if you don't know what this is, you're listening to by the weird, abrupt beginning. It is I. It's your boy Hype. Well, it's your boy Real. I'm doing the whole intro. It's the raw Hype, baby. We ain't here. I'm going to handle the intro, man, because my dog don't even, do, he don't even have to talk to Okay, today. okay. It's his day. Okay. It's his time. I'm going to kick up? Bruh, they, my dog been telling me, hey. The Lakers going to the playoffs this year. He been saying it. He been saying it. I said, nigga, they ain't going to no playoffs. He said, this year, they ain't going to the playoffs. They going to the whole thing. (laughs) He said, they going to win the whole thing. So, he rolled with these boys through thick, through thin. Hell, he didn't roll through them through the death of the GOAT. uh, Goddamn. I rolled through them boys through fucking Robert Sacre and shit being our starting center. Bro, they showed a lineup the other day and a best player in the starting lineup they had. I feel like it was when Kobe was there, but he was hurt with Jordan Clarkson. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, ooh. Come on, man. You know me, I'm a very Vander Kobe Blue. fan than I am a Laker fan. But I'm happy for the Lakers, and I, of course, want them to win it for Kobe. Come on. But I, I, you, know, you a legitimate Laker fan, so I am happy for y'all boys. Listen, guys. man, listen. And ironically, last night when we won, I was joyous. But that game when uh, Anthony Davis hit that free runner, I woke was game. everything up around me, my nigga. My dog, I wasn't really watching the game, and I turned it on there, and that nigga made that shit. Oh, I said, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, ooh, look at that. No bullshit. Listen, That man. was the series. Yes. that And that is what's so crazy about sports is, like, one play. Yeah. Last night, because I was recently talking to a young lady, mm. and she was basically telling me how basketball is stupid. And I was like, well, she was basically like, well, why do you watch basketball? Mm. And I was like, well, these are the greatest athletes in the world. The world. You know what I'm saying? And she basically was like, well, who give a fuck? You know? And I said, and I get that. I got that right. Yes. Yeah. I, I said, I get that, but that is why I watch it. These are the greatest athletes in the world. But um, what I was thinking about last night is I said, this is why I watch sports. And it's because when the Nuggets went down, they even went down with Jamal Murray being hurt. So it's like they come mm-hmm. back from these miraculous comebacks over and over and over, but it takes its toll on you. Mm-hmm. Like, them niggas done played 19 games. You know what I'm saying? All of them damn near game seven exactly. feeling. Exactly. And they didn't, oh, you're right. Yeah. And they didn't play the most minutes. It's like, yeah, this is how you go out. Mm-hmm. You go down battered, you go down bruised, and you get your ass kicked. That's sports. And I guess this is, and that is why it's uh, uh, synonymous almost to like, like an old brutal match, cause the Denver got they on it tonight, man. Oh That's yeah! It. Like nobody is saying, man, Denver ain't shit. Everybody is nah. praising everybody yeah. on Denver no, after yeah. this series. Like Grant and shit. I was like, man, he need his money. Yes. Like, I'm like, man. man. When the game was over, LeBron went straight to Grant. For real? Straight to Bruh, him and started talking to him. This is another reason why sports so crazy. Grant job mainly was to guard AD or LeBron. LeBron. Y'all whole series. After having to guard Kawhi and PG the no. series before. And he's supposed to be making open shots and shit. Because it's like, well, they don't want to put um, the light-skinned dude I love in. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. Junior. Okay. I love that, that kid. Ooh. I didn't know who he was until he... Um, I told you this. Mm. He was. They were talking about him on Undisputed because he was basically saying the shit about coronavirus was some bullshit. Mm. He was like, they're using this as population control and they're doing this and they're doing this and they're mm. doing this and they're doing this. And you know, of course, they talked about him and they said, shut the fuck up, kid. But I told you this. Mm. And I said, but at the end, before they went off, Skip Bayless was like, but I'll tell you this, kid, never stop speaking your mind. And I said, that's because he know he can't agree with him, but he said, never stop speaking your mind on some. 
you smart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, this little motherfucker smart. Yeah. And then I seen this nigga just glide over somebody <laughs> and dunk a basketball in their face. I said, wait a second. Like, oh my, like you got yourself got a fan. <laughs> I was like, you say real shit? You mm -hmm. slam dunking, shooting threes? Nigga, he was supposed to be a top three pick, but he got yeah, I heard. I heard. See, I didn't even know who the fuck he was until two months ago. And this nigga started playing yeah, like rookie. he was a top. He played like he a top uh, three pick. I'm like, this nigga is good. <laughs> Shots bro. that he shot, I looked at and I go, that's, that's a bad. Bad shot. No, I was like, oh. that's a bad shot. And he was hitting them bitches in people's face. And if you've seen him shoot ball this year, that bitch, like you said, you haven't. He Who shoots no shot. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like he wasn't like a bubble player? Well, he, that, he, most, yes, he was a bubble oh, okay, emerger because okay. he didn't really yeah. get a lot Jamal of was a bubble emerger. But he didn't change year, his though. life forever. Yeah, he, but, he, Jamal been hooping all year. This year, Jamal been hooping all year. Not like but, no, yes, I agree. Yeah. Which is, go back to my point of... You, they earn, they earn their respect. Like they name is respected after this series. They, you see how they shitting on the Clippers name. The Clippers name ain't worth yeah. a damn. Yeah. The Nuggets yeah. name is solid mm -hmm. because they fat man. Like, they that battle. make me say y'all gonna have to beat them boys next year. Fuck it, man. It makes me say I don't want to meet them boys next no. year because. No. That we beat them five four one, but yeah. it felt like seven games. And look at what they went through, bro. You're not finna win that. I remember mm. last year in football, the Titans was whooping everybody ass. They ended Tom Brady's career in uh, New England, mm -hmm. right? They whooping everybody ass, and they barely got into the playoffs. They kicking everybody ass. They eliminated Lamar Jackson, too. You know Lamar Jackson was balling last yes, year. And won he won MVP. MVP. Yeah, yes, yeah. okay? So they eliminated Tom Brady team and Lamar Jackson team, and then they get to Patrick Mahomes. I said, I'm sorry, <laughs> they're going to lose. <laughs> I was like, I, don't, I know they rolling. I know they're good. But as they say, sports is, is a microcosm of life. In life, I can say this coming straight back from Vegas recently. You're not finna just keep winning. Yep. You're not finna just keep yep. winning. That Especially the when corner. the deck was stacked against you. You know what I'm saying? If you win three hands in a row at Blackjack and you got 16... You're not finna win a fourth for that 16. You feel what I'm saying? You got 16, you may as well hit on that bitch. <laughs> Take yourself out. Like this, you may as well hit on it because you're not finna keep winning with that, you know? So when when they hit, when the, when the Titans got to Patrick Mahomes, I said, I, this ain't about football. This about yeah, life. Y'all can't win. So you feel what I'm saying? It's almost the same as 2K. Like, I shoot the same three three times and go in, and I know they ain't going to let me hit it a fourth no. time. It's like, hey, a computer glitch will yeah. have to intercede. Especially if you ain't release it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> But then it's the same thing. It was like the Nuggets. It's like, all right, y'all whooping everybody ass. Y'all whooping everybody ass. And after going through all that, you got LeBron. You got LeBron. You're not going to win. You got LeBron. You're and not going to win. Exactly. Because LeBron is worse now because he got AD. Yes. LeBron, With AD, he's Patrick Mahomes. Ooh. See, man, hey, sports is such a place, yo. Yes. That statement could sound rude, mm -hmm. but it. I get what you mean when you say it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Especially oh, after what guess you who play tomorrow night, though? What do you mean? In, sports? in football. Oh, who okay. plays? Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Oh, Monday Night Football. I cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> I cannot wait, bro. Who are you, I'm about to ask who you're giving it to. Like, I don't know this nigga, who this nigga for. I have no idea. Oh, I thought you were going to give it to your boy. The, I, I, the reigning champ. He uh, he favored. But I'm, I'm going, going for Lamar. The Lamar champ. my favorite player. Because he black up? He is. <laughs> Because Lamar Jackson, it's funny, though, because I'm from East Texas and Patrick Mahomes from East Texas. He's from, like, 20 minutes from where I'm from. Mm. Like, that's why you fuck with him. And he's amazing. But um, he reminds me of my, the white boys from East Texas that's cool. That's who Patrick mm -hmm. Mahomes reminds me of. And, of course, now I live in Florida, and Lamar Jackson reminds me of a nigga uh -huh. from Florida. <laughs> so I love both of them. Because <laughs> I'm like, one reminds me of home, one reminds me of where I'm at, and y'all are both good as fuck. And that's I just love the Vegas, man. I fuck with them. Shout out to you. Shout out to the sports section. And absolutely, shout out to the Lakers, boy. Yeah, man. Lakers in five only because you don't... Well, I want to say Lakers in four. But with the Lakers, the Lakers make you change how they play. Lakers come out playing how they feel they want to play. And then they see what you do, and then they adjust. That's usually why you will see one loss, when you have seen one loss at least, which is like, okay, we can't do that. I know we thought we might have, could have, but we can't. And I want to give them that same, you know, learning yeah. game in this series, but it ain't nobody on that team that can stop the people that they would need to stop on the Lakers. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't want to rain on your parade at all, bro. No, you, you can't rain on it making me think right. it's a possibility. If the Blackers play the Heat, 
They can lose, bro. They can't lose. All right. They can't lose. All right. Bro. They can't right. lose. I named a nigga from the Heat. You don't even know. Okay, listen. To me. <laughs> I watched these motherfuckers. What bro. was his name? Duncan, Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson. Robinson. Kind of name? And that's his last name. <laughs> 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 What's his first name? I have no idea. Theodore Trevor. Uh, <laughs> Theodore, Theodore Trevor. Trevor Duncan, Duncan Robinson. Robinson. For three. <laughs> It's a simple name. It's something. It's almost like you know how Tyler. Hey, Hero, we can look, look it up. Look it up. Man. But I'm telling you, bro. Uh, you know you got them. Uh, you told me to say this on the podcast. This is how Duncan Robinson got onto the Miami Heat. Okay. Somebody saw saw his uh. What's his first no, name? It's Duncan. Duncan McBride Robinson. Oh, his back of his jersey said Duncan Robinson. Well, you know they're letting people put what they want on the back of their jerseys right now, yo. They not, but uh, anyway, <laughs> Black Lives Matter. I just want to say, that's on the back of a jersey. But <laughs> you can't put anything on it. They made a list of things you can oh, put on it. Co- okay, gotcha. Yeah. Boy, this boy don't give a goddamn about the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is how Duncan Robinson got on the team. Uh-huh. Somebody went to Eric Spolster and they said, hey, I seen this white boy shooting regiment, and what he do as a shooting regiment, I'm telling you, this motherfucker the truth. <laughs> that's what that's what happened, oh, yeah, right? You like that? You don't like that? <laughs> like dead ass. Bring it in. That's exactly what happened. He said, well, let me see it. That motherfucker went in there and been shot the motherfucking lights out of night. He played for the Miami Heat. Going to the finals. No. To the Lakers. Playing, hooping. And when you take away, and you know I always say this when I when people say, oh, my homeboy can play in the NBA. I say, your stupid ass homeboy cannot <laughs> play in the NBA. Motherfucker working toys R us. <laughs> Yo, like, that nigga be crushing them boxes, man. And I be like, yo, you can't hit it from here. And man, he hit it every time, like, man. <laughs> like, all right, so but, all right. he doesn't get LeBron in his face when he shoots that motherfucker. I always say, if you go to games, and you know I done been to a lot of games, mm-hmm. before the game, you could be watching players like Dwight Howard and Sean Bradley and them niggas that be shooting, JaVale McGee. Mm-hmm. They'll be shooting threes and they'll make it every all single the time. time. They'll mm-hmm. make it every single time. And then they're not even allowed to That's shoot. Like, <laughs> they get in the game, they shoot the three bitches out for the rest of the game. How dare you, Dwight? And if they shoot it, they're not going to make it. You feel what I'm saying? But my point is, these guys are so good at basketball that if they're just shooting in a gym and ain't nobody there, they're going to make it every time. Mm-hmm. So then when you take these amazing shooters like your Steph Curry's and your Kyle Corvers and shit, and you remove the crowd, you remove the travel, they really just niggas in the gym shooting <laughs> at that point. And that's why you see Tyler Hero and Jamal mm-hmm. Murray and motherfucking uh, the Duncan Robinson uh, kid. Shit, Michael Porter Jr. Michael, Michael Porter Jr. Where mm-hmm. motherfuckers can just sink three after after three after three because they're so good at this, bro. All they doing is sitting in an empty gym mm. shooting a three. I'm only mentioning, I'm going to let you finish, Michael Porter Jr. because he's an athlete and he jumps really high. He do. And that's why he's able to make the shots and they be wet yes. because he jumps high they so do. you can't block him. Even when he shoots a jumper. See fo- exactly. Yes. He jumps like he dunking damn near yeah. when he shoots a jumper. he's taller than he looks, bro. Right. He got to be like 16. Yeah, six, seven or something. Oh, for real? Oh, let's they be it. playing him at power forward. I'm like, he got to be tall, bro. He seemed tall. But anyway, man, I can't believe we talked about sports that Because, long. man, the Lakers deserve it, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Lakers. Shout out to AD, LeBron. Man, do it for color. Uh, He's 16. I'm for, telling you, bro. Oh, that nigga yeah. tall. Shit. Man. He the new NBA damn there. Niggas oh, like for him. Sure. Somebody that can duck and shoot. And shoot like and tall I remember saying league. back in the day that J.R. Smith. And light skin. J.R. Smith <laughs> and um, what was the black dude name? Name his first name was Jason. He was number twenty three. Played for the Warriors. Used to dunk. Uh, Jason Richardson. Him. Him and J.R. Smith were the only players. I used to say this all the time in NBA history that could win the dunk contest and yeah, the three point contest mm-hmm. in the same weekend. Mm-hmm. Now you got people like him. You got people who can do the skills challenge. <laughs> <For real. laughs> Rookie versus fucking world. For real. Even like an AD or fucking even LeBron or fucking any of those dudes. And LeBron's, LeBron's not a never, great shooter. I think LeBron. Let me cut you off. But I do want to say this, LeBron. If you're listening, like a <laughs> La, your last year in the season, I think you should do the dunk. Oh, he's never gonna do it. I mean, just for shits and giggles, man. Yeah. He don't have him and like Dwight Howard should get that. <laughs> <laughs> just the old nigga dunk contest, bro. That'd be fun. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, what should have been dunk contest? So if you bring niggas out of the street, you just call them the. <laughs> Exactly, set the ball where it should be. He shouldn't yeah. be dunking with Michael Porter yeah. Jr., nigga. Vince Carter, bro. Vince Carter, uh, Dominique Wilkins. <laughs> that 
the league was his corner, don't even play the season and do the dunk contest. That nigga be prepared as fuck. That nigga like magic. Nigga come back for the All Star oh, game. Oh yeah, he did do that, man. All right, let's get the fuck off of sports, man. Where we yeah, going, man? man? But shout out to the Lakers, man. We appreciate y'all. Finals, four more wins, and we finna take this thing home. I'm getting a ring when we win. Respect. I'm getting a Lakers ring when we win. Like Shannon Sharp. Uh, skip, I'm going to be at the parade. <laughs> I did not call it a sick that day. I'm going to send me away. The last time he said he was going to be at the parade, that nigga was there for <laughs> I mean, Ain't no way, Skip. Ain't, I mean, Shannon ain't at that parade. And who is Shannon talking about LeBron James all the time? He always be talking about how he hang out with LeBron all the time. But um, the few times he ever see LeBron, he always take a selfie with him. So I let me know he don't be the <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this nigga's hilarious. He was like, oh, yeah, me and old bro I was hanging out. And I told him, go out and get a triple dub. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Who showed up? Yeah. She showed up. What's her name? Oh, this old trip dub. <laughs> she made the trip on down to Orlando. They said she could come inside the bubble. <laughs> they tested her and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, old oh, bro, just snuck in the back door. <laughs> Miss Trip Dub. Miss Trip Dub. I'm like, man, this nigga is funny. Shout bro. out to LeBron. I swear to God, I always think in my head, if I ever met LeBron James, the only thing that I would ask him is, do he watch what Shannon Sharp say about Ooh, him? Ooh, that's a great question. That's the only question I have for him. Hey, that's you be watching Shannon question. Sharp talk about you? <laughs> because then it'll also answer the back door question of, do he watch Skip talk about him? Mm. But I've asked Shannon because he's more prone to answer it that way. Are you becoming an interviewer? Yeah. I like that. But that would be my question. That's an because amazing question that I'm sorry. If I see LeBron before you, I'm stealing. Uh, please do. I, I was going to ask that. I was going to ask you, like, because that, you know, that's one of those kid questions when you're growing up. But, you know, since the raw hype is slowly taking off and being where we're supposed to be, these questions are about to become uh, pertinent. Yeah. Do you have a certain few sets of questions that you're ready for if you see somebody that you fuck with? Celebrity wise, or talk to one of them niggas. Nah, I don't. I don't care enough for that. Yeah, it's somebody like for LeBron, like for me. Well, I guess that's what I mean. I don't mean if you see if I. You know, I like love Shannon Sharp. If I see him, I wouldn't have a question that I care to ask him. And so, how does that go? Like, because you don't you want to maximize your interaction, but you don't want to have a conversation he has a thousand times with anybody who sees him. But you kind of don't want to not have a conversation with Shannon because Shannon is a nigga to have a conversation with. Yeah, if He's I met like a... Shannon, I would just, I would be natural. You know what I'm saying? I would just say whatever I want to say. Like when I met Jalen Ramsey, I, you know I loved Jalen Ramsey when he was a Jaguar. Yes. The only question that I have for him is, are you playing tomorrow? Yes, but the setting was different, man. You, you know? You couldn't say, man, you be fucking them holes like that, Jet. You couldn't say it in I mean, the That's not different. something I would say. I know, but I'm saying your <laughs> thought process is that. limited to in the setting. I'm talking about, man, we walking in and Shannon over there chilling. It's like, hey, baby, man, I heard the raw hype, baby. Y'all boys ain't fucking around. Oh, well, I can say fucking in here. Y'all boys ain't fucking around. But. I would say I would say the same thing. Like if I saw Jalen Ramsey and he said, "Hey, come sit over here and hang out with me." When I sat down, I would say, "Are you playing tomorrow?" <laughs> and if I was in the city where I could sit down, and he was like, "Hell no," I'd be like, "Damn, you ain't gonna be here no more." You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, you must want to be traded. You know what I'm saying? That would be it. It would all have to do with, "Hey, my guy, are you playing?" Because I, you know me, I don't, don't care. care. I, hey, but here's why I asked that because it sounded real shallow. I ask that in the sense of uh, when you meet certain people who are regularly meeting people mm -hmm. and you may have, you can be yourself and be natural, but you might not have the time. Mm -hmm. You don't have the time. See, that's to me. Have... That's why I don't have a question because I don't want to bother people. Yeah, I, and that's you my point. I, mean? I don't, I don't take no... a picture with a nigga. I don't want none of that. Exactly, man. I don't, I don't care for it. I'm no. more care to have a conversation. Exactly. And if we don't have the time to have like a conversation, exactly. then I'm cool with knowing that I saw you that day. Hell, when we went to the Andrew Schultz show, mm -hmm. I when you went to go take your picture, yeah, I yeah. backed him up and said, hey, man, you did a great job. See, because you don't fuck with Schultz like I fuck with Schultz. I wouldn't give a fuck. I fuck with Jalen Ramsey. I didn't ask this nigga for no picture. Because I of your setting. My homeboy just took oh, yeah, a picture. Took it. Know, and and the you other could've. nigga just took yeah, a picture. With, I already know he would have. You know what I'm saying? But that's not me. I understand. Like, that's not me. I'm, I don't like to be bothered. So, in turn, I don't bother people. Yes. Like, I seen him. And I said, what's good, goat? And then he said, nah, shit, what's up? And I dapped him up. Pre-coronavirus. I dapped <laughs> him up. And as I dapped him up, I said, you playing tomorrow? And then he said, huh. <laughs> and he said, huh. 
I said, well, shit. And I walked off and I let him make it. And then he was getting back at his bills. I was coming out of the phone store. And I said, it was nice to meet you, man. He said, same to you. Be easy. I said, you be easy, bro. Mm. And that was it. But I could have. And I know for sure that nigga would have something. When I pointed out like that, I know that nigga was going to say, this nigga finna ask me to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> But not even on no, but he didn't even look like he was gonna be on no fuck shit. It was just like I like he even paused, like he didn't get in his car uh-huh. because he was like, I know he finna ask to take a picture with me. I was like, hey, it's nice to meet you, man. He was like, same to you. I said, all right, man, be easy. And that was it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's enough for me. That's enough. But I will say, him getting traded two days later, it did make me say, hmm, I wish that went differently. <laughs> <laughs> But not in the way that I could have controlled. Mm, oh, you would you know have what I'm saying? Differently as far as like him not leaving. And like, um, no, I wish my interaction with him would have been different because I know I'm never going to see this nigga again. You so know what, what would saying? you have said? Nothing. <laughs> but because the, the scenery didn't, co- like, I wish it would have been differently in a way of him Thank saying. Thank you. If Just I already knew he was getting traded. Okay. Like that way. Like if I already knew he was getting traded, that would have been a way better. Hey, nigga, where you trying to go? No, you know, you I said if him. I already knew. Like, yeah, like, they said, he, like they said, they traded him to the oh, Rams, the Rams and then I seen him. Gotcha. It would be different. I would have preferred that be the case. Like, hey, man, good luck, man. We fuck with y'all here. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm Just saying? Just tell him a goodbye. Exactly. That kind of <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? So I wish it went differently in that way. But that's pretty much it. was like, that nigga traded... Man, I just seen that. <laughs> exactly. Days ago. exactly, right? <laughs> and, and, and that was the game that the owner said he was gonna play. So when I seen him and said you played him on, and he said, huh. so when he didn't play, it was like, ooh. <laughs> but I told my homeboys that day, I said that he's never playing here again. And I was like, and I could tell by how he answered. He was like, I'm gonna be real enough to give you this answer, mm-hmm. but I'm not gonna be it. I'm not gonna do it in a way where you can say Jalen Ramsey told me I was. I'm about to say I'm not gonna be real enough that you go to fucking Brown High exactly. podcast and, and say my business. Jalen Ramsey said I go play. That nigga just said, huh. <laughs> and then when I started laughing in a way, like, uh, he started laughing like, yo, you know what's up. Uh-huh. You're like, nigga, you know I'm not playing. You know I'm playing. You, nigga, you might not know, but you finna know I ain't even finna be here. <laughs> <laughs> he was basically like, you know I'm not playing. You heard me request a trade. <laughs> Every time you think of that, huh, you're going to know how loaded it was yeah. when you heard it. And I used to always say when he requested a trade, he kept playing. And I said, if he keep playing, they ain't never going to trade him. And then that nigga was like, hey, man, I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and then they was like, all right, you right, right. <laughs> But I was like, I, I would do the same thing. Hey, Fuck yeah. if you want to be traded. If you're going to play, I'm not trading you. Because that's how your employer going to look at you. Mm-hmm. Like, if you still going to work here, I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> Or, or you finna thrash it and leave. Alright, well get the fuck out there. Right, straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot everybody up in this bit. Alright, we're gonna give you a recommendation you to go to another job. <laughs> I'm gonna help you get a different job. They give you a glowing recommendation, then. I know, but that nigga drive you. Right? But yeah, I don't know, man. Life is weird like that. So Life is for weird. me, I don't like to bother people, man. Especially now, because I even heard Shannon said that um people are still trying to take a picture with him and shit during the pandemic. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, see, the fact that y'all know motherfucker don't give a fuck about y'all time, I'm not finna do that to y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the same reason I tipped the pizza man. Because I know having a job is whack. And I'm not finna add to your job being whack. I'm gonna I'm I'm be a little a little, a little light for you today, same. if best I can. Exactly. I know, motherfucker, every nigga you see want to take a picture with you is whack. So I'm not finna add to you being Jalen Ramsey mm-hmm. being whack. I'm not gonna do mm. it. Because you're a moral guy, man. You're like, man, put it out in the energy, man. I know what it feels like to be annoyed. So, sir, I will not annoy oh, yeah. you. People love to bother me, and I don't know why. <laughs> People love I, to bro, bother me. I do not know why, bro. Like, like, I can avoid talking to a motherfucker. A motherfucker will talk to me. I don't know what it is. It's because that's how people train, man. You're supposed to... Yeah. Like, oh, how's your day? Oh, man. <laughs> well, well, two things. You're supposed to say it's fine. Right. And if you don't, you're supposed to hit him with it. Oh, oh man. Right. Shit, uh, I'm a Clippers fan, so, you know. Well, how do you think it's fine? <laughs> <laughs> I hate what a motherfucker... <laughs> I hate when a motherfucker tell you a story like after the fact type of shit. You know, like let's say I'm an Uber driver, right? And I pick you up to take you somewhere. I don't know you. I pick you up and I take you to the airport and shit, right? Mm. And then like when we get to the airport and shit, you get your bag out the car and then you, you ain't saying nothing the whole time. But then you get your bag in the car and then you start talking to me and shit. You say, "Well, I had to get you to bring me here because my car's broke down." <laughs> <laughs> 
say why you needed to come here is the most irrelevant shit ever because you've already solved yeah, that problem. To say, so why are you even telling me this? Like, what, what are we doing yeah. here? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like you on your way uh, walking out of McDonald's and saying, shit, I had to come get something to eat here because... I got divorced. I used to my wife cooking for me, and it's like motherfucker, the the fries in the back just ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> like, hey, hey, you want salt? Because I gotta go get them. I need to grab those. <laughs> this motherfucker telling me, yeah, and then she's over <laughs> fucking so <laughs> <now."> <laughs> And then she fucked the cable guy. So now whenever I get my premium channels, I always think, my, my wife suck cock for the HBO. It's like, hey, I don't even know you. Why are you telling me? Nigga, down nothing is alive. I hate after the fact stories, mm. bro. Like, don't tell me why you did to do something after that you already did. did. Yes, bro. Shit, I you hate can it. tell me on the car ride. No, boy, hey, shit. man, appreciate you coming and getting me, man. Hey, Life has shit. been going through <laughs> me. I'm telling you this, boy. My wife, shit, you wouldn't believe it, nigga. You haven't watched HBO Max? Yeah, I never look at it the same. I tell you that right now. I'm like, what are we doing here, man? Gonna wait till you out so he can waste your time. Hey, nigga, close my door. Like, no more <laughs> shit, nigga. Like, but, but, uh, how much do you have to fix this car? You fix it, bitch, and I say, man, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> man, what do that mean? They, when your problem is solved. Why would you tell me this, bro? Why? And I'm ty- and I'm like, that's what I mean by bother me. Bro. <laughs> it's because this ain't the time mm. or place, man. This ain't the time or place. And people don't care because they're so self-absorbed, yes. bro. Because, and I ask that because it's a moment in your life to meet someone who did something dope with theirs. And I, what, whilst I understand that, that should be reserved for the people it's reserved for. Straight like up. you said, no disrespect, but Jalen Ramsey get a man, you good? Everything good? Appreciate it. LeBron or something like that, the GOAT, you might have to find something to say because you're like, hey, I'm seeing LeBron. I always wanted to ask this nigga something. You see, if I see him in the same instance like I see uh, Jalen Ramsey, mm. I would say, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I always had a question that I wanted right. to ask you. I would literally ask him that. Be- and even your approach is respectful. Right. Some people just go, hey, no, man, wait, hey, can I get up the click, 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 hey. And, and then like, after I asked him his question, that question, he would it. know I'm serious about respecting his time because I would not ask him another to take one. a picture to me. Oh, I would even ask a follow-up. Or another follow-up question. I no him bullshit. Oh, you said follow-up with Oh, cool. How you feel about <laughs> exactly. he gave the line J. West? He gave me any right indication now. that he was done talking to me, I would let him make it. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga a fucking probing question, that nigga's like, I right, conversation. Because <laughs> even in this case, uh, Jalen Ramsey was nice and cool, mm. but he didn't want to talk to me. I don't think he ever wants to talk. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And he doesn't approach me as somebody that want to talk to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? He did mm. his part. He answered my question. He went on about his business. He was fine. Not to be redundant and overplay a joke, but how would your interaction with Shaq go if you were standing with me, Shaq? Will you do your Shaq for Shaq? No. <laughs> like, I don't... Hey, Shaq, let's have a Shaq off, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Am I talking or are you talking? <laughs> I, I felt like I did a good job just then, but you held it down, bro. But listen, would you challenge Shaq to a Shaq off? Oh, okay. Shaq, I, nigga, that S was pronounced. I'm not shaking him off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, that is the episode name right there. I'm not shocking him off. <laughs> I'm not shaking him it off. It may change, but for right now, that is hilarious. I got a contest going. Who want to shack me off? <laughs> Welcome to the Shack Off. <laughs> With DJ Easy Dick. <laughs> What you know about DJ Easy Dick, bro? Do you, you remember? remember uh, you was about to hear me go, Wait a minute, <laughs> have a nice day, bang. Bro, people haven't heard that song before. That to me, when people say things like songs are one of the greatest songs ever, I always go, how could you, di- like, what is your criteria for that? To me, that is one of the greatest <laughs> songs ever. So I can't answer my question, but I'm I sorry, can answer bro. your That's question. That's one of the greatest songs that ever, bro. That is one of the greatest yeah, songs ever. Now, hear me out. What's up? It, it's not for its large, derogatory <laughs> nature. Hey, I, I don't need to explain it. If you don't feel the same way, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, Listen, man. Listen, man. That song, any time, time, any day. The Jack Off, uh, this is DJ E. Let's go. The beat, bro, is so good. It makes you feel good. <laughs> you don't realize how you're degrading human beings because it's it's done so well. Look, man. 
I ain't gonna give him too much of that, man. Man, but I just gotta hear a little Nate. Play dog, piece man. of it, man. Look, just piece. a little Nate dog. Before you open up, yo, gal. Hey, hey, hey. And respect for your lady. Uh, sing along with me, in other words. You know you know them but things. But now right? I take it all back. R.I.P. Nate dog, baby. Cause you gave me all your pussy. Yes, you did. And, and you even lick my balls. balls. <laughs> Come on, that's a group. Put, Put your, your number on the cabinet. cabinet. And what? And I, I promise, baby, baby I, I give, give you, you a call. call. <laughs> Next time you what? Next time, time you're feeling kind of hopeless, you know what you can do? You can come on over, over and I'll break you off. All right, this is my part right here. And if you can't fuck with that, that day, baby, 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 just, just lay back, back and open, open your mouth. mouth. <laughs> you know what? Because I. Hey, that's my favorite part. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga say. That nigga say. Cause I... That nigga hit that note, bro. That nigga's like, hey. Ooh, ooh. Never, never met a girl. And that still stand to this <laughs> day. That, that I, I love in the whole wide world. <laughs> and then this nigga came in. <laughs> well, if corrupt gave a fuck, fuck about a bitch, bitch I'd always be broke. Uh, I never have no motherfucking endo to smoke. Uh, man, come on, man. That is a musical blessing. Bruh. Sadly, I say that around my house a lot. What? Like when my lady does some bullshit spending. I always go, man, fuck, I just be spending all the money, man. This shit is ridiculous. Man, no. if I give a, give a fuck about a bitch, <laughs> I said, because I gave a fuck about a bitch, I'll always be broke. <laughs> Never have no motherfucking end up. I say that shit regularly. Bruh. Because I gave a fuck about a bitch, I'll always be broke. Like, this is legitimately one of those songs. Like, okay. Um, I'm not willing to entertain any conversation about the lyrics in any way, shape, or form because oh, this no. song is not its lyrics. No, nah, it's, it's how it sounds. It's, it's sonically, it's the feeling it gives exactly. you. Exactly. It even gives you that the, feeling of you're doing something wrong. <laughs> right. We shouldn't be singing <laughs> that, sir. It's the savage yes, It's just like, but the crazy part about it is, um, all right, I have a, a strange confession here. Ooh. All right, so earlier this week, someone asked me, was I bisexual? <laughs> So it asked me, was I bisexual, right? Uh, had and it, I had said, anything to do with that uh, episode we had the other day? <laughs> where, 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 where someone else said that? I'm not, I'm not gay, I'm, I'm Gillum. Gillum. <laughs> yeah, actually it had a lot to do with that. But that's another story for another day, right? And I said, well, for starters, why would you think I'm bisexual? And the first uh, words, the first word was, um, because you don't respect women. <laughs> I said, I said oh, now time out, T. Mark. Okay? First things I will say is, I definitely respect women. But second, I want to skip past that before I explain that. Mm -hmm. And say, I was raised on songs like this. Mm. Like, all jokes mm. aside. When I was much younger than my 10-year-old daughter, I was listening to this. Early teens. And when I say this... I mean every day. And I'm not trying to blame anyone saying, oh, this is this is this and this is that. It's like I was legitimately raised. <laughs> Listen. I'm talking about you talking 20, 30 years later, we can sing the song without the song. It's embedded in your head, yo. Yes. Like your your social and your age. Yes. I know every word of this song, every <laughs> ad lib. <laughs> Nigga, you just like, I, you said what you said. How much not disrespect it? What you know about the jack off hour? What? <laughs> <T -J. laughs> You're talking about E. <laughs> but the thing that's so crazy is like, so I have a mentality of if you're my bitch, mm -hmm. I will treat you like gold. Yes. But if you're not, mm. you're this to me. <laughs> Almost like I don't give a fuck about what you got yeah. going on. If I can listen to you, if I fuck with you, I'll always be broke. Mm. I'll never have no motherfucking endo to I'm smoke. I'm talking never. <laughs> I'm talking not sometimes. <laughs> but no, my whole point is I'm raised on shit like this. So if you view me of a person who, I'm a person that if I'm not respected, mm. you're not finna get no motherfucking respect from me. Exactly. And man. I don't care if you're a woman. I don't care if you're I don't you're care a if child. you're old. I don't care exactly. if you're old. If you give me love and respect, I will give you love and respect. And I'll always start you off with a base level 
of respect. No doubt, a I, base level. Of I respect. won't remove it all. It, like I, I, hell, I just covered it earlier with everything I was talking about. I'm not gonna bother Mr. Celebrity here because I have enough respect to not bother. Absolutely, you. man. I'm good. I'm you know, you, you know the uh, the basic plan that comes with when you order the thing. You know how you get Xbox and you can go online, but it's silver, but right. you can't do shit on silver. Right. You gotta buy the gold. That's me. Straight you up. gotta earn this shit. Straight you know, up. I, I give you human. What? What? I give you your inalienable rights. Straight up. Your rights to breathe. Your rights <laughs> to speak to me because you have a mouth. Straight up. I'm yeah. listening to what you say. Because I have it. ears that I can't. Exactly. Plug. Some people are so disrespectful that they'll ask you a question and not even listen to your response. I don't do that mm. to people, and that's what I consider to be respect. Someone that is communicating. Someone that don't call me out of my name. Somebody mm. that listens. To when I say, hey, I don't like this. So they'd never do it in the exactly. future. Exactly. And, and a motherfucker will view me as being somebody disrespectful because I say, I won't allow you to treat me that way. I won't. Mm, I won't. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care if you're a woman. I don't care if you're a child. I don't care. I, don't. I will not allow anyone to treat me in a way that I don't want to be treated. And if I am treated in a way that I don't like to be treated, fuck you. <laughs> and I don't have no motherfucking respect yep. for you. You then get treated how I decide for you to be treated. Exactly. This is why I ask people and I show people and I encourage people to treat people correctly because... Not everybody is willing to take disrespect like the other person. Straight up. And if you and get somebody telling you about it, they might be someone who's telling you about it in a moment that they can talk about it. Right. So when you try to do that same bullshit to them later, they're like, all right, man, I done told your ass. And then now you're getting your ass whipped. Exactly. <laughs> For some but I hate here. it when they treat the person who kicking ass as the asshole. As the asshole. <laughs> hey, don't you see no what doubt. this motherfucker's no done? I told him. Uh, hell, <laughs> Wait, what's the dude, the little boy that started shooting people? Kyle Rittenhouse or whatever. Little boy that's, oh, the little teenager? Yeah, oh, right. Go. They swear that he's he the victim. Fit, <laughs> yo. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, he the victim. Mm. You can see he the victim, but you can't see when black people the victim. Come on now. About, we said this here on here, and I'll say it again right there. How is a 17-year-old <laughs> ramped in the streets with a fucking weapon and he the victim? Listen, you know I'm the first person to quote the words, if you knew the law, because I know the law. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I keep saying... It have to be legal for him to be able to carry this assault <laughs> rifle because I assume that different things would be handled if it wasn't illegal for him. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, I, I don't want to do the research because I'll always be broke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another reason why that song, I don't care about the words of that song, is because... I don't become something because of the music I'm listening oh, no, to. No, what no. the fuck? Like even when I say I was raised on this, <laughs> it's it's like embedded in, embedded in me in a way that's useful. Sonically, yeah, in a way that's useful. Like I say, if you're not my woman and I don't have love and respect for you, my woman should be proud of that. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, hey, man, I said this before on the cast, and I always ask this question. You have women, you have somebody who risked their lives for somebody, and you always have women that say, man, that man is amazing and he's a hero. They would never pick for their man to be the hero that dies saving another person's family. And they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. <laughs> it's, like, so uh, it's like LeVar Ball, right? He went off on Christine Leahy and shit on FS1. That and was then, that old shit that she was yeah. staying in your lane. Yeah, we said, stay hey, in your he, lane. Stay in your lane. Right? And then people were saying, uh, she came at him later and was like, he doesn't respect women. He was like, my wife is happy. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, and that's the truth. And that's his the wife, answer. What, I, what's wrong with his wife? She had like a stroke oh, yeah, or something. She had, she had like a stroke. She could barely talk, barely walk, barely do this, barely do that. And he's by her side. And he's like, oh, this is the, the best woman in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And you ain't finna hear no cheating scandal. Mm -hmm. You're not finna hear no, I'm finna leave her because I done got me a little bit of money or I got me a little bit of fame. Mm -hmm. He's like, this is my rider. This be my rider to die from day one. Mm -hmm. So how do you have the right to say he don't respect women because he disrespected you? But he disrespected you when you said he was a bad father mm. and who would want to buy his shoes. And he disrespected you uh, through a feature from Tory Lanez. Nigga. That nigga did it on the rap. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's when you think he disrespected you. Well, I guess I was falling into what I was saying. You think he disrespectful to women because of the music he listens to. What do you mean? No, I was saying, that's what we were saying oh, earlier yeah, about yeah, yeah. Oh, I am not oh. my music. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and like in LaVoy, in case, he told you to your face. Fuck you, pretty much. 
You know what I'm saying? You was talking shit about him, not to his face. He okay, talked yeah, to his face. Oh, yeah, that, like, he talk, yeah, he talked to a face pretty much fuck you. You know what I'm saying? No, he said stay in your lane. Right. That's not fuck you. That's you don't know what I got going on over here, so don't comment on it. White bitch. Hmm. Sounds like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could you define fuck me for me? <laughs> well, uh, don't uh, worry about what I got going on over here, you white bitch. <laughs> Sounds accurate. <laughs> but no, I, I said that, and I was trying to do a sloppy segue into Tory Lane's music, right? Because now the 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 if you haven't known uh, Tory Lane's, uh, who is a musical artist who was accused of assaulting Megan The Stallion, another musical artist, mm-hmm. uh, he recently said. Uh, the other day that he was finna speak out. Mm-hmm. And he spoke out via an uh, album. Right. And then there's people who have a problem with that. Here's my problem with people having a problem with that. Right. You know Tory Lanez for doing music. Mm-hmm. So if I choose to speak with you through the term, to the medium in which you know me, how you having a problem with <laughs> You don't know me for doing nighttime talk shows. So if I go sit with Gail King and say, hey, Gail, I need to talk to you, baby. Oh, That's me not doing what you know me for. But the nigga drops music. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. This is why I don't follow any celebrities on social media. It's because I want to know you for what I know you for. Uh. So that's what I want to know. I don't need to follow LeBron James on Instagram to watch him do what he do. Oh, ESPN. I have to go on his ESPN. <laughs> I have to go on TNT. Yeah. It's, 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 it's. That's what it is for me. That's what it, I, yeah. That's I guess what, yeah. and everybody is. I'm honestly one in a billion. I'm just about to say that's why you is who you is. Like yeah. no bullshit. I'm one in a billion. It's like I used to tell you about all the time about Kobe Bryant. Mm. I don't give a fuck about what Kobe Bryant has going on now. Mm. I wish him the best, mm. but he's not hooping anymore. Mm-hmm. But when he go on the Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson podcast, mm-hmm. I know he finna talk about hooping. hooping. So I'm in mm-hmm. because. I am a diehard fan of Kobe Bryant, the basketball player, mm. which is why it was so shocking to me that I was so sad when Kobe Bryant, the person, died. Mm. Because Kobe he was already done fan. doing uh, what he was years doing. before. Yeah, so. I get your point. It's why I also I have PTSD about it. It's but awesome. it's like, mm. it's like. I only care about that portion of it. So, yes, you're <laughs> one billion percent correct. Tory Lanez, <laughs> if you're going to talk to me. Make an album. Talk to and me. And my how homeboy you Timbo, to. he said on Twitter, he said, what y'all thought he was going to do? He said, when y'all found out Drake had a kid, what he did? <laughs> exactly. And he was like, they, the, they some Canada niggas that uh, they, 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 their, their art is what they do. I was, about to I, was like, a, yeah. I was about to make a similar reference to go like when Charlemagne and them gave him Donkey of the Day, you find out how he felt about it on a song. <laughs> it's like this guy always talks to you through his medium of music. Yeah, what do you want? Which makes sense. It makes sense. Because if you. I'm going to talk to y'all for free. Exactly. In a way that y'all not accustomed to me talking to me or I'm gonna talk to y'all how I always talk to y'all and y'all gonna want to hear me talk because y'all want to hear what I gotta say so I need to capitalize off of it man but I say all that to say what we were saying earlier by my uh poor segue I'll just segue it uh you're not the music you listen to I get how it should and I mean I should I get how it could pose an influence but I can listen to uh bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks and not go tell that to the cashier at the store. There's a change. Thanks, bitch. You know you ain't shit, right? I just want to make sure you remember that. And if you don't like that, just lay back and open your mouth. You have a good day. <laughs> it's like, I don't go and do that, yo. I completely agree with that. It's no different when people say, why do y'all condemn rap music this way, but you don't condemn a movie this way? Because I, I, I'm sorry, Lil Uzi Vert is not a real person. He's a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just like, that nigga character is a little troll who makes great music. You know the colorful hair nigga be by the bridge? Right. If Rambo shoots somebody's head off, Rambo's not a real person. <laughs> if, I see some, if I see Stallone at the fucking Publix, I'm not going to be like, oh shit. I bet that nigga got the chopper underneath that jacket. He's finna air this bitch out. You know why? Because his villain, he's back. <laughs> They're trying to get the codes off the computer. Like, oh man, up. let me get my Snapchat out. It's the truth. It's like it's why when Drake disses Pusha T and basically says he's a fake drug dealer, it hits hard because I rhymed it. If you're a drug <laughs> dealer that's rapping about selling drugs, you would be in jail. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the okay, truth. How you're bro. such a big time bad man and, and you're still out here on the road? Like it's like, just the truth. I'm still pumping packs even though I got a million, son. I'm on the VMA's carpet with a pack on. 
I know Instagram. I'm Instagram live. Still moving packs, homie. <laughs> Hey, you on Instagram live? I got them grams live <laughs> on the red carpet, nigga. Yo, while you was getting interviewed by them bitches on The View, I was getting off a pack or two out of The View. <laughs> At the VMAs, I'm the one they copped the molly from. You... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when Ellen and the... <laughs> That was a self-edit. <laughs> I am growing. Hey, partners, we're growing. That hey, was a self-edit. I actually edit. had a good bar. I just started laughing. But anywho, man. <laughs> anywho, man. What the hell was it? Oh, no. Uh, Tory Lanez, right? Right. And Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, shit. Let's Go. Let's turn this down. What I don't like, and I love how that nigga clear out when it's time for me to say some wild shit. <laughs> I need your support, brother, man. But no. Fuck that. It ain't no wild shit. My point is, this witch hunt that is going on lately, saying that black men don't care and don't defend black women and women, is 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 starting to annoy me because it's starting to bleed into the fabric of the way people think. Agreed. What, a joke is a joke if we laugh, and a joke ain't a joke if you believe it and you dare serious. Agreed. So... The, 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 what, a woman, <laughs> a woman not getting a call back and then getting her friend fucked is not an example of not caring about black women. Right. Us not defending, uh, what happened to Breonna Taylor by the hands of them fucking cops and then the fucking black cop, the black uh, politician who basically saying this is all okay. Mm-hmm. That is more an example of not taking care of black women because it's like well, you. Well, since you brought that up, what do you think about people saying? And he dropped this album the day after the Breonna Taylor news. Sadly, mm -hmm. music drops on Fridays. He couldn't have dropped it on Saturday or Thursday, as far as I'm, as far as I know, as far as how the system is set up. Music's supposed to drop on Fridays. So how about if he already had that date slated to drop his music and then this came out days before? I don't think any of it has any connotation with each other. And you only make it negative when you do put them together. These two things have nothing to nothing. do with it's just a. It's why I just said the term witch hunt. It's a, witch hunt. It, 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 it's a means of... Yes. Not a witch hunt on Tory. It's a witch hunt on forcing... Uh, I'm trying to speak responsibly, man. We're, we're getting in an elevated space. We right. cannot speak uh, 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 uninformed. Want, want me to help you out? No, I want to get what I want to <laughs> say out, but I want to choose my words correctly. All and right. what I'm saying is, let me wrap up, man. I'm saying before I go too long. You go, man. <laughs> I got to get my words in order. Because I... This, this, only because, man, I can't speak how the fuck I want to speak because, we're, and I told you this before, we're at a time where people are not willing to listen to reason or understand what makes sense. They're, they're, they're willing to, to continue to fuel an objective and a narrative. So whatever the narrative is at the time that they're riding with, that's what they give the fuel to, regardless of its sense, its legal sense. This nigga Tory do not have a charge of shooting Megan the Stallion, but yet everybody is constantly telling this nigga, Oh, you have been literally convicted of shooting this woman. You listen to Tory Lanez and he just shot Megan. How do you know? All we have is Megan saying he did. And I do not want to call Megan the Stallion a liar. Please don't fumble and twumble my words. But what I am saying is people don't lie. This is not, let me. Let when me. a person says, well, why would they lie? I always say, you're a fucking idiot. Because I never say the term, why would they anything? People do I anything. I don't care why they would lie. But people do anything for anything <laughs> yeah, reason. I don't need to know. I don't care. <laughs> Let me help you out, man. Go, man. Okay? Shit is. I would like to start this off by saying. I support Megan Thee Stallion, and I hope she gets better physically, uh, 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 mentally, uh, 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 musically, in every kind of lee. Continue, please. I just want to make sure I'm on record. I would like to start this off by saying, I believe Megan the Stallion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, what well, a dramatic hat box. <laughs> but the difference between me and everyone else uh, believing Megan the Stallion mm -hmm. is that I understand that that doesn't mean that 
I'm correct in believing Megan the Stallion. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that Tory Lanez doesn't have the right to defend himself and tell his story. Mm-hmm. No matter <clears throat> from the snippets and shit I've heard of the album, mm-hmm. I thought he spit dope ass bars. Mm-hmm. I thought he was entertaining, mm-hmm. but none of it made me say. I no longer believe Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> but I understand that my belief in Megan Thee Stallion is nothing more than my belief. Mm-hmm. If someone disagrees with that, they're not wrong mm-hmm. because I don't know. I wasn't there. I just picked a side, but I understand I picked a side without the knowledge of knowing exactly what happened. This is my belief. Mm. I can't force my beliefs on the next person. I can't force my belief as fact. This is just my belief. And I like to put on a statement. My belief is I don't believe anyone right now. (laughs) I don't have a side. I literally have no idea because like everyone else, we weren't there. What I do want to know say is, why is Tory Lane's side not even willing to be heard? You want to know why I believe Megan Thee Stallion? Mm-hmm. It's because from the small clips that I've seen of her, she looked like she was telling the truth. <laughs> and that's all anybody else got. Your interpretation on a, a person's energy and on if they're lying or not. That's, that's it. it. That's all you have. And so that's why I, I don't I have had, a side because I, I don't. I didn't hear his... Uh, explanation. You've heard her clips. You haven't heard his clips. I've had people that I know a lot better than I know Megan the Stallion look me in my face and lie. And I didn't know so, it. I, again, and I'm pretty good at knowing it. And that's why I'm trying to refrain from sounding the way that I'm sounding is because to say someone wouldn't lie is ridiculous. Yes, even if you believe them. Even if you believe them. To deny the ability to lie Yes. in this situation is yes. ridiculous. And I'm sorry if I'm not willing and to see, do it. I'm not even saying that phrase because I don't think she's lying And that's at all, my point. I right? don't like and how the that, phrase that, I don't even, that phrase doesn't associates even come to with how mind. I'm thinking. It's not. Right. I don't oh. think it's that she's lying at all, right? Mm. But again, I have enough sense to just know that just because I'm convinced of that, it doesn't mean that it's Tory true. Lanez is guilty. That's all. So I'm not even saying it's a possibility that she's lying. <laughs> Clearly, some, that's, that's the case. <laughs> but I'm not even saying that because I don't even view it that way. I view it as, hey, I believe you. And then when I hear Tory Lanez say he didn't do it, I say, hmm, maybe he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> But I still believe Megan, but I have enough sense to say, hmm, maybe he didn't do but it. But the problem, I guess the problem I'm speaking towards is the people who, you you at least heard clips of Tory. Yeah. There's people who are denying their ears of even hearing what right. someone because else could possibly say. <laughs> right. Because their mind is made up based right. on just one person and saying that's, something. And that's unfair. Be, and it's unfair because they're woven their belief of her into, I believe it because... These yes. black men are not yeah. protecting black women. So yeah. you feel justified in believing that because you felt justified in believing this. Yeah. Those two things don't have anything to do with each other. They could. Yeah. But for you opening out the gate telling me, nah, the reason he shot us because you niggas don't love black right. women and you don't. T- it's like, wait, wait a minute. Hey, listen, guys. Um, I hate to be that person that says I have a black friend, but. My niece, Ariana, is a young black woman, and I personally, truly think that she is one of the greatest people on the earth. Can we call her? I don't think we need to do that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I would like to hear uh, how she feels on this particular, particular topic, but continue. About, um... Tori Lanez and Megan Stallion. But continue. You're thinking of how it might go? I don't know what she thinks. Let's call her. Oh, shit! <laughs> All right, but... What are you saying, though? I, like, this is a black woman Mm -hmm. that I will put on a peta peta stool Mm -hmm. because she's just an amazing person, yo. And I, like, look at her and I think, I I think you could be a great representation of black people. Mm -hmm. I love that you're a great representation of black people. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you're going to be something special one day. So she's like... My my champion black woman I root for first and foremost. You're talking about but, yes, but I am rooting <laughs> for black people as a whole. Man, listen, I'm one of them ones who always uplift black women. I always, always uplift black and people, period. But no, I mean specifically, specifically because uh, they have a lot of unhappiness that is attached to some shit that ain't on them. Yeah. You know, but, but like Shit like, like you, you, you got, got a problem with your baby, baby mama and your uncles and shit, and then she, she taking on that beef. So now you're, you're bringing her shit down and making her unhappy and ruining her life because she cares about you. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So I champion those and them in those situations because like I get that you sometimes inherit burden because niggas ain't shit. Right. But don't say niggas everyone don't fuck with you and don't protect you and all these things just because you have a couple of examples of a couple of people who are not giving a shit. Because everybody can find a couple of examples to prove their point. See, this is my thing. I, I feel, feel like love you, queens. that black women are down low on the list of things that people care about, mm-hmm. but I don't like it when it's viewed as it's black men. <laughs> I it's guess that's what I say. Yeah, it's that's not what I black say. men. It's the same people that look down on black men. It's not us. You know what I'm saying? So it's your neighbor. <laughs> it's other niggas. Yes. It's some Asians. Yes. Everyone is participating. Why is the ones who actually doing the actual saving being the poster child for not doing shit? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't like it, man. And again, that is separate from Tori and Meg, but I hate how that is being woven into there. Yeah. So now if I want to stand up or say Tori has the right as anyone would have right. the right to say they part of a situation that involves this, it sounds like I'm saying Megan's lying. That's not you, what I'm saying. Do you remember it was like an episode or two ago when we were talking about somebody saying um, something about like how you feel about wearing a pink uniform? And then you're we saying, like, if something shitty happens, and then they say, and you gotta wear a pink uniform, then you're just like, well, yeah. If you lump it together, like, yeah, well, I guess it does. Yeah. That's how it is with the Breonna Taylor and Tory Lanez thing. Mm-hmm. It's like Tory Lanez shot Megan the Stallion, and then the nigga dropped the album the day after we get the Breonna Taylor moves. Like, wow, he quick to tear down black women. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's a lot to wear for a guy from Canada that you You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot to wear for, but when you want want to, to make, make a, a motherfucker, motherfucker wear it, it, it ain't a lot to wear. Like, yeah. Because, because me personally, I can't name a Tory Lanez song, right? <clears throat> so it's like Tory Lanez doesn't have a big bearing on my life either way. So for him to be the representation of what, how shitty black people are or black men are, I don't like that. I don't. It's like, one, I don't know this guy. Two, he's from Canada. And three, I really only see one incident that he had, and that incident, I don't even know what happened. I'm just going to say, we don't even know what So it's like, and I'm only fighting for the truth. And the truth can yeah, never be know. heard if you shut one part yeah, of the voice. The up. truth is none of my business. Granted, yeah. I fight for its ability to live. Yes. These, These motherfuckers, motherfuckers are trying to kill no, truth no, no, because no. they like what they heard. Yes. Again, I don't think when, when I, I mentioned you last night, baby, baby you and you open, open up your gap, gap is, is a representation of all women. women. Oh, of course so not. I will not go. Like yeah. I just said, I would not, not put that on you. No, of course not. No, no matter, matter how much I know the words for that song. song. Right. Why is the bullshit being put on men's shoulders that ain't got shit to do with us? And then that fucking thunderstorm is not being woven into a hurricane. And then that hurricane not have tsunami signs. It's like, how the fuck? Nigga, what? So, I am not championing for anyone. No. But the, the, truth. the truth's ability to exist. For sure. Because when you tell a motherfucker... Oh, I don't want to hear what you have to say because I heard what she has to say. I always say this. That would only matter to me in the matters of my daughter. Yeah. She's the only body of person on this earth that I don't care what the other person has to say because the result and what happened matters to me ten times more. I agree. These These niggas and bitches ain't my kids, dog. You should have friends. I wish everyone well. I wish them well. (laughs) And in order to wish you well, if (laughs) someone's doing you unwell, you need to be able to say it. Yes. And show, you know what I'm saying? Not a motherfucker doing you unwell. And because a narrative being painted, you You got to eat that. No, that. And if you think that I don't support black women how I do, I just got done saying, with no reason ever, I believe Megan the style. Find a woman. That, that can say, say anything negatively about how I haven't dealt with them ever. Mm-hmm. Find mm-hmm. that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Because, because that's my point. point. So, so when so, so when a motherfucker try to give, make me wear a woman that like I don't love, love women, women, I don't care enough to defend it because oh, no. I know the world could defend it for me and my actions and my life and how I operate defends it for me. So by me defending it personally and singularly, giving it too much fucking credit. Well, that's for me. You, you can, can find anybody, anybody that says that, that I'm a dick, a dick uh, I've been a dick to them, male, female, female whatever. Mm. But you, you will never, ever, 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 ever be able to find someone that can say it was unwarranted. 
if you say, hey, tell them the rest of what happened. Tell them why I said, get out of here, you stupid deal. You smell like fish. Tell them why I said that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hype's an asshole. He did this to me. Well, what did you do here? And, and it will be an answer. answer. People don't ask that. Exactly. They're they going to ask that. So what we did? Not, Not what did you do? Yeah. When, when my, my daughter comes, comes to me and she says what her brother, her brother did, did, and I go, okay, I got, got that. that. What, what did you do? do? Well, he just, I got that. He told me what he did, and I'm like, what did you do? Did you do anything? Well, I just, this. Okay, well, that warranted that, buddy. You go deal with it on your own. It's when... Well, he pushed me out. Well, what do you do? Say good morning. I dropped that ejection. Right. Exactly. But that's but that's my point as to why I just want to be fair. Fair. Yes. And so the the only reason I can tell you I can never sit here and say well you'll never find nobody say I ain't never did no shit to me to them because you can find people who've done something to me. Everything else. Hey. What's up? Ariana, y'all. Good, Good day, day Ariana. Ariana. You are live <laughs> on the Raw High. How you doing? Oh, my goodness. How oh, are you doing? How come I can't see myself? I can't, I can't see, see you either, y'all. Man, man, we, we can't, can't see them. Just, just like, like the pages can't see us, Ariana. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right I now. I can only hear you, y'all. Oh, you only need to hear me. I knew she was going to say that. But that's fine. Oh, for real? Does that mean we can't talk? No, that means... Can they say something too? Of course. Of course. Uh, so, so I got, I got one, one question, question for all of y'all. What do y'all, y'all think about Tory Lanez dropping his album, album about Megan Thee Stallion and his situation? No, we're not streaming that. Y'all not feeling that? Can you please tell us why? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I I was looking on Twitter because everybody just kept saying he dropped the album. He dropped the album. He said something back about Megan. I'm like, well, what did he say? Nobody's saying what he said. He wants you to go listen. So. I click on a song, lyrics wasn't there, so I was gonna look at the lyrics. So then I just exited out of it, went to Rap Genius to, to look at the lyrics. It was too much. He started trying to say something about my other favorite artist. Didn't even. And I up. and I'm not gonna lie either. This morning, this morning, no, yesterday, somebody sent me one of the songs, the strangers become friends or friends or strangers or something. Uh-huh. And I said, I know you're not sending this to my phone because you want me to listen to it. And I said, I'm not about to listen to it at all. And then last night at like. Or this morning at like five in the morning, they sent it to me again, and they said, "Can you just please listen to this song?" Mm-hmm. And I listened to it, and I feel ashamed. <laughs> well, you feel ashamed? See, and look, those, those are two, two totally, totally different uh, takes. One, One person, person is willing, willing to hear, to hear what, what was said, and, and the, the other, other is not willing to accept it at all. all. Not at all. I shouldn't have listened to it. I listened to it because someone asked me to. Can, to I, my can I ask you a question? question? Yeah. Um, would, would you, you say, say that you don't, don't even want to hear what, what, what Tori's side of the story, story is? What the, what is there to, like, I don't know what he needs to tell me. I don't feel like I want to hear it no more because he went about it in the wrong way. If he would have, it's two sides every story, everybody has their own truth. If he would have went about it in a more professional way, he dropped the music uh, to. But that's what but, he but do. Isn't that his profession? That's what he his do. His professional way would that's be to do what he does professionally. professionally. Parts that come with being in that profession that's not just music. Would you have rather him do an interview? Yes. But he doesn't do interviews, he makes music. Why wouldn't you rather him craft what he wants to say, how he want to say it, as opposed to now, reacting to a question? His music ain't that good. <laughs> Look how much different roads we went on in this conversation. But you know okay. what? The reason I ain't listen, because that nigga, he don't okay. bump for me like that. <laughs> I, I, mean, got, I got a new question. I mean, I used to bang Tory Lanez. So you that just shit. really kept on what you just said, though. His music is really good. No, but I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I love, I love Tory Lanez. But I mean, <laughs> I'm one of his projects. So y'all <laughs> fuck with his music, but y'all done with him now? <laughs> hey, real quick. This is Rebel. Let me ask a quick question. Quick question. It's not that hard to not listen to him because I only hard. listen. So y'all canceled him? Quick question. Do you guys not listen to Tory Lanez? Do you not listen to Tory Lanez now because of what happened with him and Megan? That's the only reason. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Can I ask one more question? I said like a G. That's the only reason. Okay, listen. Okay. Are y'all 100% sure that Tory Lanez shot Megan the Stallion? <laughs> Why not? Because it just, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. 
At the end of the day, it's their What business. kind of answer is that? <laughs> hey, I don't care if he did or he didn't because it don't matter. Fuck What's him. done is done. Fuck I him. don't fuck with that nigga no more and that's that. I just feel like there's too much going into it and it's just, it's it not just my business. Be as but if it's not your business, why are you going to boycott him if you don't even know the truth? I mean, I'm not boycotting because like I said, I just listened to this man's song this morning. By force? Not by force. It was my decision. Yeah. No, because somebody told me the other day, they was like, I was like, dang, you're really finna play this Tory Lane? And then they was like, he dropped this music before he even did that. But it was that's like old music. And it is like R. Kelly. Wait, no, and I definitely is. My my step, step, no, oh, wow. step, it is not like R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> he said <that> <laughs> <laughs> My stepmom said she doesn't. We were in the car this summer. She said, I don't care. I'm not 12 play. I'm not canceling that. Mm. She said, it's music. I don't care what he doing. his personal life. But the songs were so, about 15 year old girls. Okay. Hey, and tell your stepmom to text me. She real. I have a but, question now because we were talking about how did we not want Tory Lanez to explain what happened in the song because that's his profession. However, mm-hmm. this incident is something that people would claim happened in his personal life. So he didn't ask for it to get out. His, huh? He didn't ask for it to get out. He didn't ask for it to get out, but it, okay. So, it's his but, personal life. R. Kelly wasn't talking about having them girls locked up in his oh, no. yeah, Thank you. Thank you. You, if you do it, if you do it, crime in your personal life, I, it don't matter what you sing about in your professional life. See, you kids have gotten to the point where you think some since somebody rap, they owe you social media, they owe you Instagram live, they don't owe you that. Yeah, I heard it. I'm like, damn, that's Fry. I, that's Fry. She got shot, but I wasn't pressed. Like, I swear, I'm like, like not pressed to look at her page. I never watched the live when she explained it. Yeah. So why y'all not fucking I'm with her? So why y'all don't fuck with Tori that y'all used to like? Because it's just a choice. It's just a choice that I because made. the gun was in his, in his possession, and so and that's gun. Gun. So you feel like even if he didn't shoot her, he should have looked out. But yeah, yeah, I, I now that statement I agree. Like I'm fine with that. See? Perfect. I'm fine with if that. If you don't fuck with him because you found some kind of flaw in how he handled the situation, that's perfectly fine. I'm fine with that. What I'm, you say? I didn't hear you. No, I was saying, if you don't fuck with Tory because you see a flaw in how he handles the situation, that is completely okay. And that's, that's, what, that's what she brought up earlier. If he would have handled the situation differently, it would have been some different outcome. But you outcome. don't care that we don't know the situation? No, I never even looked for the information when it was coming Yeah, I wasn't out. digging for I, it. I was never digging for but it. But it's like very that. unfair to have a concrete idea of how you take in a situation without the information. I I don't think I've I don't think I've thought about the situation enough where it has been so concrete in my mind. Like mm-hmm. I don't think I've been looking for the information for this to become something that I need to be aware of. I pay attention to some other things. So and, and basically also because it's kind of being it's kind of being influenced into what we see anyways because of all the stuff that's going on right now with the Black Lives Matter movement. They're talking mm-hmm. about he's using that to monop- monopolize manipulate like, you know, monopolize, oh, monopolize oh, that off of the Hurricane yeah. of a black woman. Yeah, like yeah. this is connected to so many more things. I'm only seeing right because that's what. But why Tory Lanez got to wear all them hats? He not even from this country. <laughs> <laughs> he should have. Hey, it's black people. Then we in the diaspora. And he, mm. like, he said, oh, "Let me be quiet." And I already know some of the lyrics to that song because he hold on now. On <laughs> he kept trying to say he's from the trenches, something. J.R. Smith was on the benches, something like that. Oh yeah, I read, I he, did read that. He wants to be yeah. so. He wants to be from. He wants to be from here. Like, he's five three. He needs to worry about. And he it. said he, <laughs> he said he five seven on his song. <laughs> he said he five seven on his song. All his police report he said five four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, yo. Last question from me: Is there anything Tory Lanez that could do to change you, lovely ladies' minds about him? Or he done? What does he need to say? You say I'm just said, asking whatever that, it may possibly could be. How we feel. Yes. Um, if he's trying I mean, to check in my name. Woo! Really, that nigga can buy your love. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear what she said. Can she repeat it, please? I said, I don't know. It would have to be something big. Like, because it hasn't been that hard for me. Because, I mean, he wasn't like the artist I listen to every single day. But I did like him a lot. So it just kind of sucks, you know? 
Nah. If there's reconciliation, I feel like if there's bre- even though it's really not my business, mm. but if there's mm-hmm. reconciliation between him and Megan, Corey, that would have to be that staple moment. Like once the- if <laughs> if they're ever cool again, probably never. You never go forget somebody if they shot you. you. <laughs> right? I don't know what Mr. Lanes may have <laughs> did or didn't do. Exactly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. But that's what it sounds like y'all are doing. Cutting them off before y'all even sure that he was the one that did it. Yeah, that's what she said. I guess she said in her life, she was like, Tori, nigga, you shot me in the butt and you know me. Oh, oh. <laughs> and I never watched it. Oh, yeah, I never watched it. I seen it on Jay. <laughs> so y'all don't even watch it. Y'all don't got no information. And y'all no, like, yeah, I, no, I don't fuck with this I nigga. Uh, all y'all single, man. Y'all single, ain't y'all? Who is a shit? Y'all finna talk about Tory? Nigga, fuck Tory Lanez, nigga. Fine. Cuz, <laughs> no, nigga, I fuck him. Like, fuck that. That's a lie. Pen, fuck that, man. I don't know none of these people. Right. Like, yeah. Person, <laughs> person, so, I don't so, know so it's like, I hear what I hear, and if what I hear make me say, hey, fuck him, is fuck him. No, nah, nah, I'm not saying that. Somebody did put that on Twitter, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hey, real quick, while we have you lovely ladies on here, we can ask one more gossipy question, since it's the only time we can do this. Uh, I know the answer, I think. How do y'all feel about uh, Cardi B and Offset's divorce? All I know is that she filed for it, and I think if it's time, it's time for her. Right, a woman can only take so much. Mm. (laughs) Y'all are hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, y'all are riding for anybody with tits. Yes, y'all are like, y'all are pro-woman as a motherfucker, y'all. I like it. Dope, y'all are pro woman as hell. Oh yeah, I love that. That's great. What did she do? Like, what did what would you suggest? Who Cardi? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, she should get a divorce. Yeah. If she want to get a divorce? Yeah. So are you, so you're saying you're pro woman too? I'm oh, Absolutely. I'm I'm pro people doing whatever they want to do. As long as you're not exactly. hurting others. Right. It doesn't have you know? anything to do with me. As long as right. As long as right. As long as right. <laughs> are you, wait, hold up. Are you guys going to not listen to Offset music now? No, no. because I don't, we don't even know what happened. Shot nobody. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Are, do, do y'all? Shit, I'm above that nigga. That nigga ain't shot nobody. <laughs> he ain't shot nobody. He good? Are you? Cardi, Cardi, let me see your foot. I have to ask y'all a man <laughs> question now, okay? What? Y'all ain't on like that niggas ain't shit campaign, are y'all? <laughs> It's certain niggas that are. Oh my lord! I'm not gonna say all of them are. Because I'm not shit. If you want to keep it a buck, here we go. This is a real conversation. I love y'all. Hey, I respect it. Last question, controversial question. Do you guys feel like black men do not protect black women? Good question. I'm gonna say until recently, I didn't know that was an argument. Like Mm. it wasn't something that was ever plastered in my life or like broadcasted in my life until recently like true and how do you I feel think, about it now um, today I feel like i feel like there's a, been a lot more cases that it's like evident like i've seen examples um throughout time mm. um i don't know i feel like i don't know like, but is it I fuck like niggas it's just that i haven't personally experienced but it's something that's like in the world yeah i feel like it's like to an extent, but it's always been there though. The, because you look back at like Tupac song, Keep Your Head Up, because we all came from a woman, got our, wonder why we hate our women, why we, you know, he was so we already that know. Let's go! Hey, spit that shit. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! But, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's never been, it, I mean, it has kind it of been in front of me, but to an extent, it's like the black man don't protect the women almost until it's in the life or death. You feel me? It, it's not, I don't feel like. I feel like that's when I've seen the protection I've seen, but I've seen both perspectives. Like, right. I've seen how black men have not protected black women, but I've also right. seen how black men have, have. protected. So it's, yeah. really, okay. it's just like, it is really it is what it is. It's mm. fucked up, but I'm not going right. to have a, say the whole, all black men are together and not protected black women. Right. Because that's not true at all. Right. You know what I think about what y'all are saying? I think that even if black women feel that way, we need to do better. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Cause that, yeah, that shouldn't even be something we have to feel or think about. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's It's, it's been like, lovely it's talking to you all. Either. It should just be right. It should be our people should protect our people. I it's agree. Like it's a divide. Like, it's just a divide. It's already between, a divide it's a big between divide. us and the other race. And we and got divide, divide in our own race. Right. I agree. <laughs> 
I meet you at the top. Right. So we'll argue at the top. Because we got to fight these other we people gotta fight right now. Other people we fight each other. Uh, hey. hey, I talked about you, Ariana, before I called you and uh-huh. said you're one of the greatest people on this whole world. And then the people that you hang around are smart and intelligent, so it just makes me feel that way even more. And they don't just yes man what she's saying. They're mm-hmm. having their own opinion and speaking on it on their own. Y'all go, y'all gotta fix the world. I hate to put that on I y'all. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't talk I, I hate to do it, man. Well, I but we gotta fix. I'm already it's a lot of things. We but I'm looking at black women dying giving birth, man. That's a mm. cool, man. We. Man, whole bunch of stuff we gotta face. Well, what else you got to say? You got anything else to get up off y'all chests? Yeah, what else? Well, yeah. Well, can I say that? I don't got nothing. Y'all think our reign's good? Yeah. Respect. Hey, we're gonna send you this podcast link, Ariana. Y'all all gotta listen to this podcast at least. You know what I'm saying? Anybody y'all want to shout out? Y'all want to say fuck you to Tory Lanez real quick? No. Hey, y'all stay in y'all's woman power know, movement, man. yo. Listen, and if there's any womanly power supporting y'all need from the raw hype, we are here yes, for you, ladies. Let us know, yo. We love you. We love you. Love any you. fuck niggas y'all want us to talk about on the show, we'll do it live. <laughs> we'll make a diss track about <laughs> their ass. We'll make it. Hey, a... uh, that fuck nigga Kenny over there on yeah. 112. All y'all gotta uh, do is send us the name and we'll make a diss track about any fuck niggas y'all want to say no more. <laughs> And we out, man. And yo, this but, fuck nigga Jerry used to call me a lot. <laughs> I had to block this fucking call. Yeah, come on. Just let ready. us know. Y'all can give us a name right now. <laughs> we'll make it today. I'd appreciate but, uh, y'all, We man. appreciate y'all, man. Y'all stay doing y'all's thing, man. Save the world. Y'all keep it real. Thank, Thank you. you. Pieces. You. See, man. Look at that, bro. Hey, hype caller. Nah, man. Come on. Nah, we have a moment for the people, man. Bruh, that's they some young... Black women that's yes. smart, hey, college together, they doing they shit. Yes. It sound like they on some fuck every nigga. We ain't <laughs> fucking with y'all. We finna focus on this woman shit. Mm. I support that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I really appreciated, like I said, how one wasn't saying what the other was saying. Yeah. just Because it's real easy to go, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Nah, they're like, nah, I feel this way right. because of this. Because one was like, his music trash. And then I was like, nah, that's nah. Cap. You know uh-huh. his music good. They talk like young people. Yes. <laughs> 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 they talk like young people, but they smart. Yeah, man. And that see, and that's my point, man. My point is that conversation. Yeah. Every every last one of us was on that conversation was free with what they mean and yes. what they want to say. They're not saying it to please the other people. Right. Like and I want my daughter to be like that. Yes, man. The more you people speak how they feel, even yes. in a room where you might not be agreed with, yeah. that's courage, yo. And they young, but they still cool, but yes. they smart still. It's They're like still learning. Yeah, it's like y'all cool, young ass, dope ass motherfuckers, y'all. They don't understand how ahead they already are. Yes, of they it's are. Oh, they're ahead, and that's the race. For Fucking sure. getting a job and getting money ain't no race. Bullshit. Your mind, your peace, knowing yourself, that's oh, the for fucking sure. race. Like, motherfuckers what? rich and old and at the head start of the race. Nigga. Yeah, that's, that's true. Fuck them. Anyway. I mean, me and my niece, when we be talking on FaceTime and shit, man, we might talk for a minute. Like, I done had some shit go down where me and her be talking, talking. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, she came to visit, but... Like a, a while ago, but when she after she came to visit, we just got close. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And she's smart than a motherfucker, bro. Like I'm dead ass. She's smart, so I'm like, yo, I'm impressed. I should have asked her because remember, because that's the episode we lost. I know. But you remember, uh, someone else was there. I <laughs> wanted to ask her about uh, that because remember we spoke on couple years. Yeah. How they, how but she you can't ask in front of her friends. But that's what I said. I, I, I just thought saying? about it secondly in the back of my mind. But, um, yeah, that was cool. I enjoyed yeah, speaking man, I to I enjoyed that, man. What we got? We can't do what you about to do or wanted to do now. Oh, what? Talk about that, Breonna Taylor? Exactly. After that. The things that I have to say about What's Breonna Taylor saying? are uplifting. Oh, well, let's go then. Uh, this segment of the Raw Hype is... Well, I was going to throw this on our sponsors and we not. So, we go throw the hype and then we go to throw to our sponsor. So, this, ep- this portion, this part, this segment... This shit that I'm doing right now is hypothetically speaking. It's a segment where hype, you know, it's in the fucking name. Yeah. Hype hypothetically speaks. Yeah. We're going to have a jingle. I'm going to be like. I know. We're going to have them more together when hype surrounds. I'm about to speak. It's hypothetically speaking and it's going down. I'm about if to you speak. ever heard hype in your life before, I'm about you going to know he got some shit speak. and he's been speak right before. Speak week. But um, I wanted to talk about Brianna Taylor. Go ahead, my man. And I wanted to view the Brianna Taylor um, death 
from a different angle than people are viewing it from mm-hmm. because the way that we as black people are viewing it mm-hmm. is the wrong way to view it mm-hmm. because as black people, we want the, the police officers to be arrested for her death. We want them to be prosecuted. Right. So then we just recently got this announcement that as far as being held liable for her death, there was no one Nothing. that, right. Okay. Nothing. And see, you Nothing. you probably saw this on my snap a few weeks ago when I said the people who uh, killed Breonna Taylor are never, ever, mm-hmm. ever, ever going to be arrested. Mm-hmm. I knew this, and the reason that I know this is because I know the law. It's what you're okay? charged with a lot of times, man. Exactly. And when you when you have a situation like this, their situation, right? Charging them with something that they can't prove is the easiest way to acquit. Continue. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> because when someone goes to court, bullshit, okay, bro. and there, if there is a shadow of a doubt, you're supposed to say not guilty. Mm-hmm. People, uh, p- people misconstrue not guilty with innocent. Yeah, we didn't do it. Yes, mm-hmm. they're not synonymous. They're not the same at all. But if I'm not guilty, according to the law, you have to let me go, okay? Mm-hmm. And in their case, they served a no-knock warrant. There's two sides to the story, by the way. Exist, There's a is. side that white people are How telling. another nigga can sign a piece of paper to say, you can come up in my right. house and kick my door in right. and do what you want. I won't say white people. There's a side that racist white people are telling. Mm. And then there's a side that black people are telling. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, this is kind of in the middle. They have a no-knock warrant. Mm-hmm. They come into the home. Mm-hmm. Her boyfriend shoots because he thinks this intruder is in the home. Mm-hmm. They shoot back. They hit Breonna Taylor like eight times mm-hmm. and she dies. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's the, the base premise of the story, right? Mm-hmm. Now you have the people on this side are saying her boyfriend sold drugs. And you have the people on this side saying yeah. um, they knew that this, this, and this was going on. Mm-hmm. They knew they were at the wrong house and all these kind of things, right? But if you take that bubble, that small story, that's the yeah. story that goes to court. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, in court, the police are going to have their strategy, their intel, their this, their this, their this, or that, right? Mm -hmm. But even if you say, well, I could prove it. Any lawyer could prove it, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you feel that way. Police officers have what is called qualified immunity, Mm -hmm. okay? Qualified immunity basically means when they're on the job, your civil rights do not exist, okay? Mm -hmm. So if a police officer kills you, in the line of duty. This is why police officers mm-hmm. are never charged. Mm-hmm. If I kill you in the line of duty, I'm never going to be charged for this, okay? So we're saying arrest the killers of Breonna Taylor when we w- when we should be saying they have no knock warrants in mm-hmm. black mm-hmm. neighborhoods and poor neighborhoods far more often than they are ever in white neighborhoods, mm. okay? They have qualified immunity, so... Even if I can prove that they're wrong, the law says that they're not going to go to jail. Mm -hmm. So what we should be saying we need to change and what should be back on the back of NBA jerseys is you can't just single us out to do no knock warrants or, okay, you're not singling us out. It shouldn't be more proportion to us Mm -hmm. as black people to serve a no knock warrant. And then furthermore, you can't give police officers something as broad mm-hmm. as qualified immunity. Especially with over the years, and you've seen what they've done with it. There's too much coincidences going on for them to still have that same room. I, I, did, re- I did research, and in tw- it like. 2015, they served like 20,000 no-knock warrants, right? Mm-hmm. One of them, they threw some kind of gas and something, seven-month-old baby, whole face. Yeah, they blow the shit. Mm-hmm. You think anybody went to jail for that? Mm. they're not going to go to jail for this because the law says they don't go to jail Mm -hmm. for it. So we're saying prosecute them because we see how fucked up it is. Mm -hmm. That's never going to get anyone prosecuted. Because that's almost what you're asking for them to do what we don't want them to do, which is break the law just to put niggas in jail. And it's exactly. And it's the same reason why I knew George Zimmerman was never Mm going to get prosecuted because if I'm telling a story and the only other person that can tell this story is no longer here. You only have me to believe. Mm-hmm. So if you have a little bit of doubt of saying, hmm, maybe he was scared for his life. I'm not innocent, but I'm not guilty. Mm-hmm. 
That'd be that, and that'd be impo- beautifully said, sir. I'm gonna give you that moment, boy. That was beautifully said. It's beautiful. The law's the problem. That's the problem. And that's my point when I said earlier. Well, yeah, I guess you said I did say it correctly. What you charge, if you go charge somebody who, you know, for first degree murder and they was just in the car at the stoplight, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Yes. So we have to say, we have to say those cops are going to walk. So now what we need to do is we need to take the Breonna Taylor death and we need to say, this can't keep happening. Mm. We have to say, okay, now we want a law change. Mm-hmm. That's all you can do at this point. But didn't they have like a Breonna Taylor? They did. Okay. But I know it didn't eliminate qualified immunity. Mm. I know it didn't make it retroactive to where if what they did is illegal, we yeah. can now arrest mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Under those laws at that time, those people are never going to be arrested. And that's something yeah. that we have to face mm-hmm. to be able to say, okay, then what, what are we going to do for real then? This problem, the law is the problem that enabled the outcome. Exactly. The cause and effect. Exactly. We can't change the effect. We need to fix the cause. Yes. So it's like, all right. Something got to happen now. Exactly. We can't say, see, it happened again uh-huh. in six months. Because that's what Now are happening. y'all going to do something? Mm-hmm. And then six more months and say, it happened again. Now are y'all going to do something? How many? We can't do it that way. That way don't work. Mm-mm. That way don't that's work. That's the way it's been being done forever. Exactly. That way don't work. Mm-hmm. So I don't know the answer. I just know that that's the lost cause that we can't mm-hmm. focus on. What should be part of the answer it beautifully said, man. I that, ladies it. and gentlemen, was hypothetically speaking, which was very beautiful. I appreciate Thank you, man. it. We're going to get it cleaned up and be nice next time. What needs to happen at the same token is we need more fair, colorful people in these positions. Yes. People who know how it feels to be on the wrong end of that stick go in there and now they can then see the other avenues that people getting fucked over. Right. What The, the, the loopholes that occur that allow these people to be walked off with nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what needs to be fixed. So instead of asking people who are willing to do that to you to fix it, we need to be raising and breeding more people who exactly. willing to go fix the problem ourselves. Yes. So the, like the Black Panther and the children's of those era who was fighting a lot of those children should have been lawyers and yes. doctors and medicines and yes. doing these things that these other people who are uh, other people who are trying to ruin us with. Right. Because, like, McDonald's and all them food and shit. Like, your food shouldn't be like that. No, I agree. And anytime you have, and then it shouldn't be like that for black people. Because black people are more susceptible to certain shit than other people. So it's like... Honestly, it should be illegal to serve some of the food that they serve in this country. In the manner that they (laughs) A heart attack burger. (laughs) Nigga got 17 burgers with cheese and bacon sausages wrapped around two breads and a cheese blanket. And if you eat the whole thing, it's free. free. (laughs) If If you live to eat this motherfucker, you can go. And that's for fun in this world, man. <laughs> that's for fun. So you you so fat and fucked up, you pass on sugar again, to your kid. When your this is the type you. of stuff we should be fighting to that, get. But that's my point. It's like y'all want us to be fucked up, and y'all want the law to be fucked up. Like in this case, they say, oh, it's a lot of bad apples as cops, right? Mm. So if that's what you want me to believe, then you're saying that the problem is, I mean, we're going to fix the problem because one day people going to start being good. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we going to fix it. We're going to get rid of the bad apples, and we're going to hire these the good apples, apples and then we're going to be straight. Nigga, is something wrong with your tree <laughs> or with the nigga that's picking the, the roots off the tree? That's legitimately the plan. Fix the nigga picking the fruit, straight. and then so, we have better fruit. You can't keep the rules the same. If the plague gonna be, change. I hope everybody just start being mm-hmm. good one day. Uh, complete left turn, but I've always said this within that same field. Any parent who experiences or sees their child being like uh, attacked or raped or molested or something, every parent in the world response to that is, "I would kill that person." Right. So why do a person have to go to jail if they do that? You don't. You don't go to jail. You for do, that. man. There's remember the other day. There's I don't remember the name, and we can Google it, but. There was a man who saw this man raping his daughter. He jumped in the room, beat the fucking shit out of him nearly half to death. And now he ha- he's fighting to- for freedom. He's fighting for his... Man, talk. You remember that case we <laughs> looked up one time where it was like a dude in Texas and um, somebody did something where they like killed his kid or some shit. And then the dude ended up killing the dude that killed his kid. Uh. And when uh when he went to jail, they gave I mean when he went to court, 
they gave him like 18 months of probation. <laughs> it was like on some shit like, on some shit like, hey, you did what you had to do type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of justice is bullshit justice, but I can respect that. Like in this guy's like case. a bad call. Like in this dude's case, if you beat the shit out of somebody that's raping your kid and then you say, all right, this is a crime and we got to charge you and they say, all right, well, six months of probation. I can say, all right, I'm fine with that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. But that's no, also... I'm not fine with that either, man. Oh, I... This, you remember this dude's face? Uh-uh. It was a father who beat a suspected child molester unconscious before now. Oh, that's a wrong show. What is hey, man, they give you some probation and drop the charges. If you make the probation, I'm fine with that, bro. I, I, okay, I, there you I, go. Yeah, I'll do, I do, I do that for my daughter. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> but I'll be like, hey, I appreciate y'all. We need to change some rules because how can we have a universal feeling that says everyone would do this, but then you can be punished if you're the one that has to well, end up doing this? It's the always going to be that because it's going to get back to what proof do you have that this person did the thing that you did to kill him? Oh, no, but that's what I'm saying. Hey, that shit happened. You can come pick up this dead body, and it's like you got to do your investigation. You're going to take statements and all right. these different kinds of things, and when you realize, okay, this person was indeed doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with that. Go about your yeah, business. I agree with that. This nigga shouldn't have a pending charge. I agree like, with hey, that. If we find something to charge yes. you with, we it, might yes. charge you. Hell, uh, you we, find a little bit of weed on the floor, nigga, go. We used to talk about back in the day where we say we never feel sorry for somebody that got shot because they broke in somebody's house. Fuck no. I will never feel sorry Fuck for somebody no. that that happens to them. Trust me, you come in the house that I be at, you're going to get. <laughs> you that with a smile. I remember you always said this. Like, this is when I knew you was a crazy nigga. That nigga said, like, "Man, I always wanted somebody to come and bring in my house because that's a free kill." No, I never <laughs> said that. I said I've always wanted someone to break in my house and I kill them. I don't want somebody to just break in my house. If I don't kill them, I wish this didn't happen. <laughs> if they kill me or just take my TV, no, I have never wished that somebody broke in my, my house. Apology. I wish that someone broke in my house and I and killed kill them. them. That nigga said that's a free kill. That nigga said it like a, a, a that nigga get extra. They got went to get these fries and there was some extra crinkly fries. That nigga put on your rings in it too. <laughs> on your rings in the bench too. Uh, but yeah, I, that's what I said. I never want someone to just break in my house. No, no. change the rules is what we yeah, say. I agree, you man. Can't, you, the outcome will always be the same if the rules yeah, is the same. I don't care if you died on your luck. Outcome. I don't care if you're old meth. Don't I don't care. care if you break in somebody's house and they blow your shit off. You deserve you it. Deserve I'm sorry, it. man. Yep. Absolutely. Like go break your ass in Walmart and go take <laughs> they some got shit. What you need, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> don't come here. I have to work for this shit. <laughs> you have to take what I got and then go get what you want. Just go get what you want. <laughs> Take your ass to Target or something, bro. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, like, damn. you go to them, you like, for real, maybe man. charge and be on camera. Yeah. You come here, exactly. you're going to be on forensic pies <laughs> in a van. Like dead ass, man. Yeah. I, I don't even like to talk about it, god damn it. I know, right? Take y'all ass somewhere to the fuck else, Please. man. Please. Uh, this is a beautiful episode, man. I like that. We gave him range on this one. This yeah. the range I was talking about, man. When we were Oh, this is our best episode in a minute. People won't think so because we were so funny on episodes before uh -huh. this one. But as far as us really talking, talking, this is the best episode we and had. And this is what I like about the Raw Hype. I always say that, man. I hope you come here to laugh and enjoy yourself, but I hope you learn something when you leave. Because we don't just learn something even through us laughing at someone else's something. Even if you learn how you'll be viewed putting yourself in certain situations. You know, what these young ladies said about Tori is almost what I was saying before. It's like, some of them are not even willing to hear what, you know, I don't care. But that, see, the only reason that I'm fine with it, though, is because they're not online condemning him. Mm -hmm. They didn't say that. They was like, hey, I don't know the information. I ain't worried about it. Mm -hmm. But also, what he does for a living is, do you like me or not? And if somebody just stopped liking you, it is what and, it and is. And that's what I said. When they said they had a problem said, because they didn't it. like how he handled yeah, shit, I'm I was fine like, that's with perfectly it. fine. Yes. They're saying, you know, I don't like it because the internet said yes. that he shot Megan Thee Stallion yes. and I believed in it. No, yeah. I just don't like how he looks in this. Yeah. The thing they said whether he did it or not, naked. I ain't exactly. fucking with him. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm fine with that. That's one of them situations where, like, if you know you're right, but yet you go overboard with being right. Right. It's like... Yeah, she tried to say that I that I didn't love her when I've been loving this bitch for seventeen years. Yeah. Listen, I didn't fucking took it in the ass for her. I just, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's like, hey, guy, now you're losing. <laughs> you already won. We believe you. Chill. Um, who did something <laughs> like this recently? What took it in the ass? I don't no, know, sir. Nigga, don't see. <laughs> <laughs> I 
be helping provo- this narrative that niggas throw on you. Because they know not to bring that shit towards me. Why so me, they, though? <laughs> you're the lighter of the two, man. You know, Look, man. Is that Michael Porter Jr. type shit, nigga? <laughs> I told you this earlier, man. I said, bro, if you are open-minded person, people will fucking put some shit on you I like it ain't you. nothing, bro. Like, you can say, like, you can say something where you... You defend white people. You are Uncle Tom, man. Pack a motherfucker. No bullshit. <laughs> you can say something where you defend dudes, and it's like, oh, this nigga fucking nigga. If I uh, say, oh, I defended <laughs> homosexuals, like, oh, he must be gay. It is like, why, though? Why can't I just see something for what it is and say, I respect that, man, and I, y'all got my full support. Even at the drive through you can get the sandwich without the meal. In life, they want you to take the whole the, the value whole meal. whole meal. Like, hey, I don't want... That like, like I even told you, I, I didn't have it on today, but when I have on my Adri Rainbow, right? Like, I don't want to have to say I'm not what you think I am, right? Because and it's like if you think I am and you support it and you don't say nothing to me about I'm anybody, fine with that. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> if me wearing this says to you, look at that strong, big, black, tatted brother who out here supporting the <laughs> LBGB, so that was no fucking disrespect, right? Movement. <laughs> go for him, man. See, I'm going to go tell my son, see, this big black strong man ain't afraid to rep what he repping. He's gay. Is that right? He's gay and happy. Right. I saw him in the store. That man smiling the whole time. That, but that's my whole true thing. It's like if someone thought that I was gay and they didn't say nothing to me and they didn't bother me mm-hmm. in no kind of way, I'm fine. I don't care about that. If you can gain strength off something that I'll never know about from me, yeah. have all the strength <laughs> you want. Have, have all of it. it. Right. It's when you use that what you think and bring it towards me. When it comes to affect me, when I got a mural or I'm a teacher a lesson in school, like, hey, I'd like to talk about this strong black gentleman the other day at the day at the Whole Foods. Now, if you looked at him, you would think, oh, he means business. <laughs> but after you see that warm smile and that rainbow flag he had wrapped around his wrist and the thongs, I said to myself, he... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you better laugh at that nigga. Don't make it sound like I'm just saying I got thrones on. That's a comedic moment, nigga. I'm like, I don't know what you have going on. I don't want to laugh at my dog. I'm trying to support him. I'm, saying, I'm like, do I laugh? You know what I'm saying? What do I do? You know what I'm saying? If but, niggas walking around saying, oh, that's the guy from Miss Mitchell's class. Which guy? You know, the, the, the fruit who's <laughs> big the, and tough. <laughs> the it's fr- like, hey, now, hey, bitch, what are you teaching in that class? Hey, no, this is a representation of me loving my daughter and whatever she made. I'm not I, listen. Hey, um, aren't most people from the islands pretty homophobic? I would actually agree with that statement. Even though there's plenty who are not and the island shouldn't still have to wear that flag. Well I mean black people so are years. I mean black men black are, are, are homophobic. Too. But yeah. it's because it's true though. Are you homophobic at all? Not at all. Man, you know me. I guess you're asking me for the wrong height. I can no, see you I am being not. homophobic though, girl. I'm not homophobic. I just hey I don't think hey, I think two things, right? Mm-hmm. I used to think, you know, the 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 portrayal of gay was funny as mm-hmm. a kid. Mm-hmm. But then as I grow older, it's you're laughing at making fun of somebody's happiness almost. Mm, that's you know what I'm saying? And it, and it's, it feels a little different. Now, if, like I said, we can make own personal jokes and the right. gay jokes here because we know we ain't, right. you know course, what I'm saying? And we know we're not doing it disrespectfully. We know it from beginning to end. I'll say this. If I ever make a gay joke, it will be funny. And it will be a, a joke that a gay person will laugh at. There we go. Because that's my point. Because I don't want to make a mockery of what you're feeling nah. as a joke. Oh, that's unnatural. Unless you're making the mockery with me. Yeah, of course. And of you're course, participating. Of course, of course. If a gay dude come on here and he's like, man, come on, man. Give me your best gay jokes ever. Right. And we just go back and forth. Of course. That's right. Yeah. But even then, I would still... I wouldn't have any jokes. Yeah, exactly. I'm just telling yeah. you. Yeah. It, yeah. That would be the setting in which you know, that's it. for. But, but man, I, you can't think I'm homophobic or anything phobic because I just want people to be happy. Me too. I just want because man, life is too fucking fuckity, man. Yes, and I always say that we as heterosexual people be getting a divorce more than fifty percent of the time. Who are we to tell you? Who are you to, to tell? We clearly anybody, don't man. know. I said this shit on Facebook the other day. Out. I was like, um, men and women have been having the same arguments and beefs for generations. No 
clearly no we're not doing it right. How yes. about you just allow people to do it differently? No doubt when somebody's doing anything differently, a, a woman in a trial relationship, they want to label her or a trial relationship yes. comes with this value meal. Yes. So you're a whore. Right. You don't love you. So it's yes. like, hey, guys. I agree, <laughs> you know? I agree man. So I, I don't know the answers. I there definitely ain't no don't. answer, nigga. Yeah, I don't, man. How could there be an answer when you got seven billion people out yes. here? What answer like, can fit all? I'm like, I haven't tried much as far as relationships go, but the times I dip my toe in the water, I can't. And water was too hot for this. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll just stay here on the sand. Yeah, so I don't have the answer, <laughs> but I mean, and also for me, another thing that annoys me, mm. like before we, you know, you love to say this, before we get out of here, yes, but we'll go when, until we go, I guess, <laughs> um, is that if you know me and you ask me a question that is a question of something that you think that I'm hiding, Mm. It's always going to annoy me. Oh, yes. Because it makes me say, who the fuck are you yeah. people to make me think I'm going to hide something so important? I, I hate that insult. Yes. The who do you think you are to me? No doubt. No. That's what <laughs> Who do you me. think you are to me? It's, yes. I, hey, I love my woman. Y'all, if y'all are raw hypers, you know I love my fucking woman. My woman ride this weekend, man. She's a hard worker, smart, sweet little lady. When she challenges me with something and asks me something or whatever the case may be and I've decided like this is over, I always go, hey, what are you going to do to me? Yes. What can you do to me yes. that will have me shaking in my boots? Straight up. She responds, nothing. And I respond, so why are we doing this? Yes. I've already Why? said what we're going to do. <laughs> you agree that we're going to do it? Right. Why? You like the nigga hopping out of the car. We're already here. Yes. You wait till we, buy, we get to the death. I, I don't know why I listened to you and spent this <laughs> night and did all that at the end. It's like, come yes. on, man. And it's like, now we're just arguing <laughs> now, to be arguing, and it makes me the asshole. And that's never a positive. That yes. never gen nets a positive outcome. Yes, I know. Let people be who they want. People, be able and willing to grow. Be open to listening and example, seeing other examples of other people living their life. That doesn't mean you have to live your life that way. It doesn't no. mean you doesn't. F facts, bro. <laughs> oh, man. And I, and I, and I, I'm that's sad every day because I'm not able to just truly do whatever yeah. the fuck I want. And it's, you know what I'm saying? And it's because I got to be judged. I got to be watched. I got to be asked questions. And I'm like, what I do is nothing like you think that it is. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to explain myself to you. But even if I did, you wouldn't even understand. Which is why I know not to give you something you can't accept. No doubt. But, so don't get mad at yes. me for not giving it to you no, because no. I know you can't accept it. Okay, you 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 don't know what I can accept. Deal. Here it is. No, can't no. accept it. Exactly. Next time. Stop bothering me. <laughs> exactly. Next time. You remember last time I told you couldn't accept it and you want it? Okay, you can't accept it. No. Yeah. I want to know. Sure you do. Here you go. Can't accept it. Next time. It's like, yeah. when are we going to do anything different? For sure. Exactly. And, and how do anything I different. I just don't understand people, man. Because for me, I'm, 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 I'm. If y'all been watching the raw hype over these five years, off and on, y'all have seen the change that we've made on oh, here. Man, whether yeah. it be mentally, ment mentally, milky way, <laughs> mentally, physically, we look younger. We, I'm I know, man. I'm we look know, gooder. Man. We look like we've been taking care of ourselves. We've matured. This is what you need to be willing to do because if you listen to old raw hypers, we sound like we was locked in and we knew what we was doing then. Yeah, and we're different than we was then. Why? Because we always keep the door open yes, bro. to be continuing to grow and be better. Yes, when you bro. try to tell yourself you are who you're going to be, then you'll never be who yes. you could be. That's a because, bar. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That is true. I don't even remember what I said. It came out. <sighs> I had a, you, when you... Tell yourself you can't be what you can be, then you never know what you could be. There you go. I take it. I think that was it. I think it's messed up, but I take damn it. Damn it. <laughs> if a woodchuck could chuck wood, <laughs> goddamn it. Who but would for chuck me, on? I'm not an open book, but I'm honest about who I am. No one should be an open book because every book ain't for everybody to read. Ooh. Every book ain't for everybody to read. You might think this is a slut book, right. but when you get into it, it's a love yes. story. It's a love story because... 
We got to get the smut out in the beginning. Yes. And anybody who's yes. not willing to get their smut out in the beginning, you're not going to be willing no, to have no. that happy love story in the end. So you don't deserve to read this book. Because you're going to be like, well, yes. if he loved her and, and bought her all these things and treated her so good, why didn't he do that in the beginning? Because yeah. you didn't deserve it then, bitch. <laughs> right. She had to, be, right. she had to go through what she right. needed to go through. You was texting when you read them chapters. Because you weren't entertaining. <laughs> exactly. They weren't entertaining. You, you just breeze past that, yeah. It's the truth. Is this over? But like, like, like book, yes. bitch. Like I said, bro, I'm a I'm I'm not an open book, but it's pretty much like this. Mm. I'll tell you who I am, I won't tell you my business. I'll tell you who I am, I might not tell you why I am. Yes. That's because of how I got to be in this person. No, I'll tell you why I am. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you at all. Oh, I bro. had an experience with a yeah. fuck nigga before, right? So now anytime yeah. I see a nigga in a Volvo, yeah. I just let off shots. Sorry, whoever is a revolver. Revolver. <laughs> revolver. <laughs> but yeah, that's what, I'll tell you the whole fucking story. I just won't tell you my business. My business ain't none of your concern, but I'll tell you who I am so you know how to treat me. Give me an example like, of your, who you am and business. And uh, how who you am is not your business at the same time. Okay. All right. So, an example of who I am, right? Mm. Like, I was recently talking to someone, and I was telling them how, like, um, me and my father, we grew up in the same house, mm. right? But I don't fuck with my father that much because he never really contributed to my life that much, mm-hmm. right? And then I moved away from home fucking a, a long time ago, like fucking damn near 20 years ago, mm-hmm. right? So, I moved away from the crib... And me and my father just basically stayed in touch, if you will, right? Mm-hmm. So, and then again, like I said, I don't fucks with him much, right? So when it comes to being a father, I don't want to be like him. When it comes to my life, I don't want to be like this nigga, right? Mm-hmm. But I have enough sense to know that I am my father in so many ways. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In so many ways. Mm-hmm. And that is me knowing who I am and me comprehending who I am. And then I would convey that to someone else to say... From a standpoint of like I used to even always say on the old podcast is that people meet me all the time and they say, I ain't never met nobody that don't give a fuck like you don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. And I always say, I know one nigga that gives a fuck. <laughs> Less than I'm I give a where fuck. I get exactly. And that's my pops. And, and, and my pops didn't teach me to not give a fuck. He actually taught me to give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but he showed me he didn't give a fuck, <laughs> so that's what I learned. <laughs> but he showed me that he don't give a fuck, and it's who he is genetically is who this nigga is. This nigga just don't give a fuck. So for me, when I don't give a fuck, it's one of those things that it's like, I knew one day I would embrace it, because I embraced it as I got older, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I embraced it, and it's like... I embraced it on my own. Like, when I moved to Florida, I gave a fuck just like everybody else, every other corny motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, listening to people, and when people fuck me over, just continue, okay, there you continue go. to be friends. Corny with, shit, uh, like, 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 listening. I mean, that's the truth, <laughs> but You listen to motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about your ass, mm-hmm. and then you ended up in bullshit-ass situations and fucked up situations, then these people steal your friends and steal... Yeah. Like, that was me. You feel what I'm saying? So for me to say, all right, I was this type of motherfucker, and now I'm a motherfucker that just don't give a fuck, and now I'm a motherfucker that just don't give a fuck, I say, damn, that's how my pops is. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, level three. So it's like I was destined to get to where I was, like almost genetically, mm. and then life just carried me there. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like that's where oh, so you going. All right, here we go. Exactly. So like that. Welcome home. Who I am. You feel what I'm saying? When it comes to like, damn, nigga, you don't give a fuck. Well, me telling you why I don't give a fuck, that's who I am. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And then saying how motherfuckers did a nigga dirty and left me sitting this way and that way and I didn't have my house foreclosed on and shit. That's my business. Yeah, I'm about to say that's not your business. There we go. There we go. You feel what I'm saying? That was beautiful, man. My upbringing and the things that affected me to get me here uh, is my story. Is is who that's I am. Right and... You know, the fact that AT&T tried to get some money from me and shit, and I ain't fuck with them niggas. I got some legal shit going on with them all the time. That's my business. That's my business. I ain't got shit to do with you. <laughs> so when you judging me off the fact no, that no. AT&T looking for me, no, no. That, that's and not you the correct thing to judge me. You don't need to know my business to know how to treat me. Because you need to know who I am to know and how to treat me. And that's what I'm saying. So you so know I give you, you what you need. Yeah, don't take AT&T word on who the fuck exactly. I am. Exactly. I give everybody. you everything that you need to know who I am. Because that's what matters. Mm-hmm. My business don't matter. So if my you think who, if you day. think I am who I am based on my business, that's why you don't know me. Yes. Woo! Woo! And that's how people get people fucked up. They go, hey, man, you say you ain't got no money, but you got a new car. It's like the reason I never had money because I paid for Uber every day, and now I got a new car, so I don't have to do that. 
but you're judging me based on what you think I got going Straight on. Up. And that'd be people problems. Straight up. They'll come, they'll formulate a full on, full on on who you are based on the things that other people say or what they, you allow them to see. But they are certain that that is who you are. Yes. It's like, bitch, how you, that's edited. Straight up. Straight up. That's edited. That's Straight edited. Up. How Straight you gonna up. tell me why I'm based on an edited image? It's the truth, bro. And, man. Shout out to the raw hype, man. This is, hey, listen. We can laugh and we can joke, but when shit ain't funny, we gotta get real. I talk some shit out here today, bro. Come on, man. You I, know, know I don't get my credit, bro, for talking this shit out here. Motherfucker just be like, man, you're so funny. <laughs> you, like, you hype was so funny this weekend. Yeah, you nigga, hear the gems that they just dropping. Them bars, they were diamonds. Man, I'm gonna put on a beat. I just like said, we didn't even put on a, You didn't even said that at once this whole episode. Because I had to say something today, man. Shout out to the raw hype, man. Shout out to the raw hypers, man. This is who you should feel good uh, sharing. And uh, pre-order, we got the new merch oh, coming. Yeah, I got yeah. a line coming. Pre-order, uh, you'll see the link in wherever you see this. Pre-order the thing at g- rawhype.gmail.com, man. Hey! hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 Hey. You don't understand how it is when you try to fuck a woman and you got you a kid. <laughs> she just be knocking on the door like, Daddy, I want something to eat. And I be like, no! No, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> he be like, no. I'll feed you, baby. I'm no, ho, ho, ho. But right now, your mama getting in front of the back. And, <laughs> back. and I hope you can give me five minutes and come back. Look, I'ma have you some egg and waffles just being ready. Look, I can give you some almond joy and fucking ready. <laughs> Look, I can make you a peanut butter sandwich you like. Look, I can give you some orange juice. Just give me the knife. Just give me this lady that I decided to make my wife. Just give me a second so I can go and lay this pipe. Look, I know that you want some motherfucking rice crispy, but your mama, I'ma tell you, she got some nice. Ooh, I ain't gonna talk about how. <laughs> That's the essence of this song, nigga. When we made you that night, baby. Your mama had them pain. Your mama had them pain. She no longer got them pants, Adrian. You're the worst father ever, bro. Spend your mom. You can never play this, bro. Huh? Your daughter can never hear this, bro. What did I say? Listen, you're, that's like your daughter about to hear about her parents having sex. How does she think she got here? A stork? But still, you don't want to hear that, man. That wasn't even true. You're but the worst parent ever, bro. It, hey. This is going to be out there forever, <laughs> bro. It wasn't, that wasn't true when we made her, but it's been true over in the totality. This rapper from different for ten years, baby. Hey, shout out to my baby girl. I would never. I would never. She's gonna be fifteen years old. Some shit like that. Somebody gonna put it on. Hey, yes, you ain't parents. All they need to say is your daddy got balls, man. How do you think you got here? Hey, crazy. There's some people that was here. I'm embarrassed for you, girl. There's some people that were here. Because they mama wanted a fucking happy meal at McDonald's yeah. and then they got conceived Bruh. in the back of a Cadillac. Bruh, My daughter, you never do that to your kids, though. Do what? What did I say? You never want to put the image of your parents fucking out there, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one second, said she's never coming out on the door. Let me say that. Let me clarify my rap. I believe you, but this, this is going to be out in the world forever, <laughs> bro. Everybody is here because. Parents was fucking. I would this never, This shit of your parents ain't fucking it. Let's get the fuck out I'm of here, sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I just never would do that. Listen, shout out to uh, fucking. Shout oh, out to man. kids. Shout out to making kids. This nigga crazy, man. Come on, man. Finish that song. Put that beat on, baby. Man, I don't want no parts of this, bro. I'm embarrassing this baby. <laughs> oh. I can see it's all to his baby. No, I wasn't. Yes, you ain't said her name like four times. <laughs> <laughs> you said her name like four times. Hey. Hey, shut up, my daughter. These is only raps. <laughs> I never did nothing with your mama. Actually, you found your ass at the trap. Somebody left you there. <laughs> he makes it worse. 
Hey, let's get out of here before I lose my kids. Yeah, man. I'm calling hey. the, yeah, I'm calling the, uh, whoever come take people's kids that don't know what the hell they're doing, I'll take it. I'm sitting there, man. Uh, he says that uh, he told her oh, via song that he made her this <laughs> The little girl heard it and she hadn't been the same since. <laughs> She's been traumatized ever since. What are you doing, <laughs> man? You're out of control, bro. Shout out to the raw hype. Shout oh, out to Shout, Shout out to your boy, Rebel. Sticker, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the funniest nigga, man. You're the funniest nigga. You like that nigga on Friday. That nigga say, I ain't smelled your shit for 20-something years. <laughs> 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 you can't smell my food. <laughs> <laughs> you can't smell my food. Shout out to the raw hype. Shout out to the raw hype. That's also the relationship me and my lady have. Them than me and my fucking family. So when I'm ridiculous like this, it's right on brand for what oh happens in the God, house. Oh, my bro. That's literally old pace with that. Yes. Like, that's how you talk to go. <laughs> how you think you got here? Shit. Come on, now. <laughs> what, 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 you think we just find it? No. Your mama was talking that talk. <laughs> Look at your dad. Who can resist this? <laughs> Shit, 20 years ago. <laughs> Told this, hey, you should have more crazy, conversations with your father or some shit, and then the person's like, Yeah, I tried doing that. Then they can talk me how you had a threesome with my mama. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm doing. This is not that, though. But, <laughs> this is not that. But he's driving down that road. <laughs> <laughs> he's not trying to talk about daddy. That nigga talked about a threesome. He had a Nobody wants to hear Nobody wants to hear that. Unless it's just some rap. Nobody want to hear it, bro. Shout out to you Ryan, might be the first nigga ever made a rap like that, bro. <laughs> We out of here, man. We out of here, man. Hey, thank you guys for rocking with us every week, man. You come back here for the jokes. I can't even rap on it, man. I know, that's what you trying to do. It was funny, though. That is true. I'm embarrassed for your little girl, but that was funny, man. We about out of here. We out of here, baby. (laughs) You crazy, man. Oh, man. Holy shit. That nigga started rapping about having sex. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing?